المسلمون اليهود فيقتلهم المسلمون فيختبئ اليهود وراء الحجر والشجر فينادي الحجر والشجر قائلا يا مسلم يا عبد الله هذا يهودي خلفي تعالى فاقتل إلا الغرقد فإنه من شجر اليهود and you have no idea how much I hope Allah is going to curse you to the rest of your life. You are Hello and welcome. We are live on air. Welcome everybody. I hope that my sound is loud and clear. Give me one if you can hear me. Welcome everybody. I know we have many hours today for you guys uh, to benefit and to show you how Islam is nothing but a fabrication by Muhammad. Many of you just came from brother Christian Prince's live show. He had a nice cooking show there. He was uh, barbecuing Islam. So I hope you enjoyed and benefited from his uh, teaching and uh, barbecue. <laughs> We are live! Yes, exactly, African Christian. We are live. Let me say hello to our friends here. Fee sent Shelly, iPhone 3G, TM Cross Pills, our admins. Welcome. God bless you. Keep our admins in your prayers, guys. Inky, Steve McLean, Christopher, Bearcat, Delora, Sarob, Mizbah Al Zayd. Salam al Masih. Welcome. Allah prays. Yeah, Allah actually does pray. I like your name. Gerard Perry, Marcus Tembeck, Devil Chaser, Patriot 316, Anna Diaz, Natez, Khoni Habibi, Kifak, welcome. Shlomo Ahuno, Shlomo, welcome. Uh, Jesus is the king, Allah is Satan saying Jesus is the king, exactly. The name above all names, glory to Jesus, his name. Jimmy Monty, Daniel Valencia, Sean Guide. Katie, welcome. Romeo D'Amelio Sanchez. Wow, there are many of you guys. Sorry if I did not mention your name. Wow, I'm really happy with you guys. Without you, we cannot do this. Thank you for watching. Welcome. Our today's topic is Jesus' death confirmed in the Quran. Yes, we are live. You heard it correctly. We are live, brother. I hope we have Muslims. And you, maybe you have seen my challenge. Maybe you have seen my challenge, guys. Right? You have seen my challenge in the community message that I sent. And many of you were happy with the topic. And I challenged all the Imams, all the Ustas, all the Shiyukh, all the Sheikhs. Where in the Quran does it say Jesus not, did not die on the cross? Show us one ayah that makes the claim that Jesus did not die on the cross. That's my challenge for all the Muslims today. Hopefully we will have Muslims, right? Yes, we challenge them. I mean, I hope we have a sheikh. If there's a sheikh, tell me guys, tell me if there's a sheikh in the live chat. And I will open up my Skype and we'll have a nice debate about this topic. So I want to ask our beloved admins, iPhone 3G, and the rest of you, TM Crosspools, if there's a Muslim who has the courage and the knowledge to debate me on this very topic, he thinks he has the courage and the knowledge to accept my challenge, then let him come at me. All right, we will open up Skype and we'll have some fun. So welcome everybody who just joined. We just started. And the topic is Jesus' death confirmed in the Quran. Jesus' death confirmed in the Quran. Before we start, guys, I want to ask you to pray with me in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I know it becomes an habit, right? It's a habit of mine, and I think it's not bad to ask our Lord and Savior to bless our live stream, to bless our audience who are watching. Dear Lord, bless our beloved audience and subscribers. 
Lord, thank you for your grace. Jesus, we truly believe that you are risen and you are risen indeed. Al Masih Qam, Haqqan Qam. That's what we say in Arabic as Arabic speaking Christians. Al Masih Qam, Haqqan Qam. Truly, He is risen. Thank you for your ultimate gift, Lord. Thank you for your grace that saved us from death. And thank you for my lovely audience and subscribers who kept supporting us day in, day out for many months now. Please bless them, their loved ones and families. Please, Lord. Keep all of us healthy and safe, especially from the spread of this coronavirus. Father, enfold us in your arms. Help us not to lean on our own understanding, but in everything acknowledge you, Lord, so that you can direct our words, thoughts, and actions. Give us a measure of your strength, so that we may not give into discouragement, taqiyya, deception, Makr of Allah, lies, or any doubt, Lord. Please help us on you in all our ways. Lord, I pray to you and ask you to shine your holy light on all of us, including the Muslims who might be in need and are seeking for the truth, Lord. Please also open their eyes so also they can be saved. Lord, we don't hate any Muslim. We actually love the Muslims. This is why we are doing this, to open their eyes and show them the truth and share the truth with them. So maybe they can be saved like we are saved through the holy blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit and loosen my tongue today so I can speak the truth without any error or any shame. And please give me wisdom and courage to do whatever needs to be done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for joining in. We are live on air. On this live show, guys, we will have the opportunity today to investigate what the Quran truly says about the death of Jesus, who they call Isa. We know it's not the same person, guys. But let it go, Christians. You know, let it go. Right? Because we Christians, when we investigate how Muhammad actually got the name Isa, we found out that Muhammad confused the real biblical Jesus Christ, the real historical Jesus Christ with the brother of Jacob, Esau, the accursed Esau, the enemies of the Israelites. So Muhammad must have heard from the Jews when they were mocking Jesus, Esau, calling him Esau, Esau the accursed. So Muhammad confused Jesus as he confused Mary with Maryam, <laughs> the sister of Aaron and Moses, the daughter of Amran. Amram, right? So if there's a Muslim who has the courage and the knowledge, I will open up my Skype and hopefully we'll have a respectful discussion. Hopefully we'll have an Imam, uh, an Ustaz or a Sheikh who will come out of the bushes and debate me. My Skype ID is the Rob Christian. My Skype ID is the Rob Christian. So if there's a Muslim, guys, tell me that. And I'll open my Skype, all right? For now, I'll keep it closed because I have some stuff to share with you. And hopefully, during the teaching, we'll have a Muslim who has the courage and the knowledge to, to call us. So this is my question to the audience. Let me know, all right? Highlight my name so that I can see it. If we go to John, if we go to the book of John, the Gospel of John, chapter 2, Verses 19, 21 from the King James Version we can read. Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. Then said the Jews, Forty and six years was this temple in building. And wilt thou rear it up in three days? But the Jews at that very moment were not understanding what he was saying. If we continue reading to the next verse, Jesus meant by what he said, destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up, I will rebuild it. He uh, raised it up, he meant to say, but he spake of the temple of his body. So he was talking about his body, right? The temple of his body. Destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. Do we actually, should we actually believe Jesus himself? 
our Lord and Savior. The name above all names, or should we believe Muhammad? Muslims. Should we believe this disgusting desert Arab, who Muslims claim to be, that he was an illiterate? Should we believe this guy who was tying the baby bride Aisha, his baby bride Aisha, by putting his penis between her legs, tying her, and who, <laughs> when he slept with her when she was nine years old, should we believe Muhammad, the pedophile, or should we believe the eyewitnesses? Should we believe the disciples? Should we believe Muhammad, who walked around covered in semen, and so that his child bride Aisha was constantly scraping the semen off of him? Should we believe him, such a disgusting evil pedophile? Or should we believe the many eyewitnesses who died for believing that Jesus died and resurrected on the third day? Should we believe Muhammad who used to command his followers to suck on each other's fingers, fingers for blessings, for baraka, baraka, baraka? You have to finish everything and you have to lick each other's fingers because you never know when Allah hid something, maybe somewhere in that area. So make sure to lick it off clean from each other's fingers. You never know where the baraka is hidden by Allah, the puppet master, you know, who is playing games with the Muslims. Should we believe the many eyewitnesses and Jesus himself in the Bible that he will raise himself up after three days? Or should we believe Muhammad, who according to him in his Quran, according to Allah in the Quran, bees poop honey in chapter 16, ayah 69? Muslims, should we believe Jesus and the eyewitnesses, his apostles, the church fathers, the students of the eyewitnesses? Or should we believe in your Quran, your Allah who claims that bees poop honey, chapter 16, ayah 69? Should we believe Muhammad who commanded and told his Sahaba to hire prostitutes and sleep with them for a short period of time and call it Muta, chapter 4, ayah 24 in the Quran. Should we believe Muhammad who stole the wife of his adopted son Zayd ibn Muhammad and when he said to his wife, Subhan Muqallib al Qulub, when he saw her naked. Glory to the one who turns hard. Muhammad started to flirt and fall in love with his own daughter, his own daughter in law. Should we believe this disgusting man or should we believe the many eyewitnesses, the ones who died for their belief that Jesus died on the cross and resurrected on the third day? Who should we believe? Huh? You can be the judge of that, guys. Guys, I want to play a small video clip for you. And we will take it from there, alright? So let me check out if can play this clip for you guys. And we will continue our teaching from there. Many Muslims consider Ahmadidat to be the best Muslim apologist and debater of his time. Ahmadidat used to debate Christians in the 80s. Ahmadidat challenged the holy living God of the Bible, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. We are talking about 35 years ago. Many of you know the devastating end of Ahmadidat. In the 80s, Dida debated a Christian apologist by the name of Josh McDowell. We actually believe that God set up Ahmed Didad in that debate to embarrass him in front of many people. Among the crowd were hundreds of Muslims and Christians. In that debate, Ahmed Didad made an embarrassing challenge that actually ended his career.
there is not a single statement made by Jesus Christ that I was dead and I have come back from the dead. Jesus Christ never uttered that word that I have come back from the dead. I, I'm not sure that I heard myself that you said nowhere in the 27 books of the New Testament did Jesus ever say he was dead, dead and alive? May I read to you from the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 18? Whoa, look at the quote. He said, I am the living one. I was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen, amen. Ahmed Idad, as you heard, was defeated in this debate. Josh McDowell completely annihilated him by quoting the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 18. And you heard Josh McDowell quoted Ahmed Idad and asked him, Did you just say that nowhere in the 27 books of the New Testament where Jesus said, I was dead? and I came to life and you heard the response of the crowd when Josh McDowell quoted the book of Revelation 1 18 I am the living one I was dead and behold I am alive forevermore so guys <clears throat> you just witnessed how the so-called hero of Islam 35 years ago just single-handedly destroyed his career during that debate with our dear brother Josh McDowell he single-handedly destroyed his career this Ahmadi liar this liar this deceiver by that challenge when you're going to challenge our holy living God God will embarrass you in front of thousands of people right it's the buffering guys is it buffering i think it's your uh, sean guide i think it's your side guys give me one if it's if my sound is not good or maybe it's buffering i think it's only for sean okay it's sean uh, the admins you need to tell sean that he needs to refresh all right so it's sean his problem he has bad connection well, that can happen. It's the internet and we are in a lockdown. So guys, should we believe? Should we believe? Such liars? Huh? Or should we believe? Our holy Lord and Savior from his own mouth saying that he was dead. And he is now alive forevermore. Who should we believe? Eyewitnesses? Should we believe the eyewitnesses or some desert Arab 600 years later? Right? You can be the judge of that, people. So I, sh I told you guys about my challenge, right? Because yesterday we made a challenge. Where in the Quran does it say Jesus did not die on the cross? Any Muslim? Do we have any Muslim who can accept this challenge? Huh? Where in the Quran does it say that, Muslims? I think Muslims are hiding, guys. Do we have even dislikes? Let's see. Let me refresh. Do we have any dislike? We don't have even. We don't even have a dislike. Wow, that's. The first time, guys, that I have zero dislikes. <laughs> What's happening, guys? Did, did we scare, guys, did we scare the Muslims away with this challenge? Did we scare the Muslims? Oh, we have a one dislike. Okay, so we have a Muslim. Uh, this Muslim who just gave me a dislike, three dislikes. Th three Muslims, I am sure you are there. If you think you have the courage and the knowledge, to debate me on this topic, then let's do this. Only Muslims, David. If you are you a Muslim, David? 
Are you a Muslim? If you are not a Muslim, there's no need to call me. Only the Muslims. Any Muslim who thinks he has the courage and the knowledge. I would love to debate you about this topic. Any Muslim, give me one if there's a Muslim. If you think you can debate me on this topic, let's go. Okay. Guys, give him my Skype. Give him my Skype ID. Let me open Skype. Only Muslims, guys. No Christians for now. Give him my Skype. My Skype ID is DROP Christian. And let us do this. I'm waiting for you to call me. Send me a message and, and I will call you back. My Skype is open, guys. Right? My Skype is open. Right? My Skype is open. Look. Yalla ya Juan, where are you? I'm waiting. Let's go, champ! <laughs> Debit right. Any Muslim? Mayday, mayday. Yalla ya, ya Juan, yalla, yalla, yalla. Come on, come on, show me, show me, show me your courage, yalla. I'm waiting. Okay. We have David Woos. If this is uh, Ultimate Shirk, I will not accept the call. Let's see. I think it's uh, Ultimate Shirk, but let us see. Let me call this Abdul. David Woos. David Woos. <laughs> I think he's a waste of time, a troll. He's a troll, man. Trolls. Let's see. Uh, Katie Ahmed Ali. Hello? 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 Yes. Uh, thank you for receiving my call. Hey, welcome. Are you a Muslim, my friend? No, I just... Uh... Okay, guys, please, please. He's not a Muslim. Why are you calling me? I'm asking the Muslims, man. Please don't... Please, please, guys, come on. Don't waste my time. I am specifically asking for Muslims. Why are you wasting my time? I understand, John Hao, but I'm, this is my challenge for the Muslims. Muslims for the last 1400 years have said Jesus did not die on the cross. I want Muslims. I'm not going to waste my time with non-Muslims, man. Come on. Do we have any Muslim? Yeah, KTA, I think you have issues... I understand that you are an ex-Muslim, but please listen carefully. My challenge is for the ex, sorry, for the Muslims. I don't want ex-Muslim or non-Muslims. I want Muslims who think they can accept the challenge and think they have the courage and the knowledge to call me live on air. Please, I don't want to waste my time with other people, okay? He clearly said I'm not a Muslim, so why are you wasting my time? Please, man, come on. Any Muslim? We just started N, N Ompin. We just started. You're not late. We just started. Do we have any Muslim? No Muslims? We have two dislikes, so that means we have at least two Muslims. Come on, man. Anyway, as long as there are no Muslims, we will continue, guys. All right? We will continue. And let's see if we have time. We will open the sc our Skype for Christians to call us later. Okay, so if you're a Christian or you are an ex-Muslim or whatever you are, you have to hold your horses, you have to wait. Only Muslims can call for now, all right? We will see if we can open our Skype for Christians and ex-Muslims, all right, guys? So wait, wait, all right. Only if there's a Muslim, he can call me. So there was this Abdul, right? There's this Abdul. When I did my challenge yesterday, in the community message, when I sent my community message to our subscribers, this Abdul, Osama Zuhaib, he sent me a comment, right, under my comment section, he said, and mentioned chapter 4, I 157, chapter 4, I 157, and he, say, and he says, another hypocrite, so he's calling me a hypocrite, 
wasting my wasting time. I'm a waste of time of many people and stupid Christians. So he's calling you Christians stupid, and he says that I'm wasting time. And he's quoting chapter four, Surah An-Nisa, ayah 157, 158. So I responded, guys. I responded to this Abdul, this Osama, Osama Abdullah Abdullah Zuhaib. You are very smart. Brain that Abdul, I told him. Now read the ayah in context and spank yourself and your imam for me who was teaching you about this ayah. If you think you or your imam can refute me, then step up, act like a man on Skype. Do you? Let us see who the hypocrite and stupid is. You Mohammedans or us the Christians. Clearly, if you think you have the truth, right, that you call Islam, then you should not be scared, right, Mr. A waste of time? Right, so he's calling us stupid and he's calling me a waste of time, right? And not, I'm, he's calling me a hypocrite. I hope this Osama Zuhaib is in the live chat or he's at least watching. So Mr. Osama, you called it a waste of time. Well, and you think you have the truth, then debate us. Show, us. show everybody that Rob Christian is a liar and a hypocrite. And show everybody that the Christians are stupid. I mean, if you call us stupid and you call us all these kind of names, clearly you can refute us. I mean, I'm waiting for you and your imam to call me, man. Do you have a Muslim, guys? Osama ibn Sahih, Sahih, Sahih. Do we have any, uh, do we have any Muslim? Hmm? Any Muslim? Hello? No Muslims? David Wood is not a Muslim, he just said it. Uh, you are a Muslim? Call me? Or oh, you're the other guy who didn't pick up. Okay, let me let me try to call him just once. Right? I, I think he's a, he's a coward. Right? He's a coward. Or maybe it's ultimate shirk. Because, you know, I don't want to waste my time with a wannabe Muslim Rashad Khalifa boy. Let's see who this guy is. He's a troll. I mean, look, look. If you are not a troll, you are not going to use David Wood's name, right? But anyway, let's see. Idiot. Look. I think it's ultimate shirt. You see, waste of time, guys. Yalla ya, David Woods. Woozy, woozy, woos. Meow. 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 Woozy, woozy, woos. Come here, I'll give you milk. I'll give you milk, David. You see, waste of time. Let me block this donkey. Let me block this donkey. He's a nice, sweet little donkey. You just got blocked live on there. Well, congratulations, man. Congratulations. Uh, do we have the stupid uh, uh, hypocrite uh, Osama Zuhaib? Is he with us? Anyone? Waste of time, man. David Woods, yeah. I think it's ultimate shirk, the troll donkey. Anyway. Guys, let's see what the Quran says. Since we don't have Muslims, maybe I think we have only meow Muslims in the chat and in the comment section, right? We don't have the roar lions. Where are the lions, man? The moment we go live, guys, can you imagine, guys? Can you see this? We are live on air. We have more than 200 people watching. I appreciate you guys. I really appreciate your support. Without you, we cannot do this. I love you guys, including the Muslims. We love you. We don't hate you. Maybe you think we hate you, but, but we actually do not hate you. Right? We don't hate you. Take it out of your uh, thick skull. We don't hate you. We do, are debating Muslims. We are exposing Islam so you also can be saved, Muslims. We, we don't hate anyone, man. Right? Now, since Muslims claim 
for the last 1400 years that Jesus did not die on the cross. Let us see what the Quran actually says, right? Let us see what the Quran actually says, right? Chapter 5, Surah Al-Ma'idah. Guys, I hope you are taking notes. Let me give you the link. You can open it up, you can bookmark it and save it. All right? Chapter 5, I 116 and 117, right? Let me start with 116. And when Allah will say, O Isa, so you see guys, there's nothing called Jesus. There's nothing called Yesu al-Masih because that's the real name of Jesus in the Arabic. We Arabic speaking Christians, guys, we Arabic speaking Christians from the Middle East, we call Jesus Yesu al-Masih, right? Yesu al-Masih. So who is Isa? Who is Isa? Muslims, how dare you to, re to insult Yesu al-Masih by calling him Isa? Guys, Isa, Isa, Muhammad confused the real biblical Jesus, the real historical Jesus Christ with the brother of Jacob, the accursed Esau. The accursed Esau. Right? Because in the time of Muhammad in Medina, the Jews used to mock Jesus, the real biblical Jesus, by calling him Esau. So the Jews were mocking Jesus in Medina and Muhammad thought, hey, this must be the real name of, uh, of uh, the God of the Christians. So he was confused because he was listening to the Jews when they were mocking Jesus by calling him the accursed Esau, the enemy of the Israelites, the brother of Jacob, right? Who came much earlier than Jesus when Jesus entered the flesh, right? When he took the flesh body. So Muhammad was confused as he was confused when he was calling Mary, Maryam, right? Mary, the mother of our Lord. He called her Maryam, the sister of Aaron and Moses. Muhammad was confused and this actually proves that the writer of the Quran, if Muslims say, you know, it's Allah, that means Allah cannot be God because Allah cannot make such stupid mistakes. You cannot have a cake and eat it too, right? The Allah of Islam, you cannot have a cake and eat it too. Call yourself God, but at the same time you make such stupid mistakes. His name is Yesua. Yesua, guys, Yesua al-Masih comes from the Aramaic and the Hebrew. Joshua and Yeshua al-Mshihu. I am an Aramaic speaker, right? I am an Aramaic speaker and I also speak Arabic. We in Aramaic call Jesus, Joshua, Yeshua, Mshihu. How did Yeshua or Joshua become Isa? <laughs> How did Yeshua al-Masih become Isa? So Isa actually guys, when Muslims call our Lord and Savior Isa, they are insulting him. Muhammad is insulting Jesus. Can you, did you catch it guys? Never ever accept any Muslim who call Jesus Isa because they are insulting and they are mocking our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And that proves that Allah, in the Quran, Allah has no idea, He's not all-knowing, right? They saw Allah knows best. No, Allah does not know best, Muslims, because He confused Esau, the accursed brother of Jacob, with the real biblical Jesus. This cannot be God. This cannot be my God, because my God does not make such mistakes. Bing! Uh -huh. Rob Christian, now I understand you. Now I understand why you picked today's topic. Uh-huh. So, uh, Silfi Place says at Rob Christian, do not mock my God Muhammad. <laughs> That's a good one. So again, like guys, let us continue. And when Allah will say, Oh Isa, the fake Muslim version, right? Son of Maryam. You see Maryam. There's nothing called Maryam. It's Mary, you idiot. You are confusing Mary with Maryam, the sister of Aaron and Moses. So Muhammad, who is fabricating those ayahs, Muhammad himself, or let's say the writer of the Quran, if Muslims say this is Allah, then Allah is confused about 
the real Jesus and Allah is confused about the real Mary. And he needs to ask Isa, you see guys Allah is not all knowing. He needs to ask Isa, the son of Maryam, Esau, the cursed brother of Jacob, did you say to men, take me and my mother for two gods beside Allah? So Allah, Allah, you don't know, you don't know. If you claim that this is Jesus, you don't know what Isa said, you need to ask him. You have to ask a mortal guy that you claim that it's a, no, nothing but a human being. You need to ask him as if Allah is not all knowing. Allah knows best. No, Allah does not know best. Over and over. This proof is in front of you. Allah asks questions. Exactly, Abdul Halik. Welcome, Habibi. Tamara, uh, Abdul Halik, TM Crosspools, Phil Herrera. Go, guys, keep our admins in your prayers. They are always doing an amazing job. Keep us in your prayers, guys. Don't underestimate the powers of prayers, Christians. We need you to keep us in your prayers, please. Keep supporting our work. Keep praying for us, guys. So, then, then, Allah is uh, being confused even more, right? Take me and my mother for two gods beside Allah? Wait, Allah, Allah, Allah. Allah, you claim to be God and you claim to be all-knowing and you, and you claim to, to always say in the Quran, you have to repeat yourself like a parrot. Allah knows best. Allah knows. No, Allah does not know best because if Allah is truly God, Muslims, I hope you are watching. We have four dislikes. If Allah is truly God, he should not have made an embarrassing statement like this. Look, take me, Jesus, and my mother. So we have Isa, we have Maryam, right? And we have Allah. So we have three gods. So according guys, according to the Muslim Allah, according to the Prophet of Islam, Christians believe in this. I just put it in the text. Isa plus Maryam plus Allah. Where is the Holy Spirit? And why are you putting Maryam besides Allah? Uh oh. Show me one Christian who is worshipping Maryam. Show me one Christian who is worshipping Allah. Oh, what did you do with the Holy Spirit? Allah, did you forget about the Holy Spirit? You see, this is the Islamic Trinity, guys. Allah, God number one, because it's talking about two gods. Allah, God number one. We have Mary, God number two. And we have Isa, God number three. So you see how stupid this Allah and the Prophet of Islam is? You must be really stupid to not know what the actual triune God of the Christians is. The Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. So Allah is still confused guys. Allah is still confused. I think Allah had too much uh, alcohol brother. Too much Nabib. Too much na wine brother. Nabid is wine. Muhammad used to drink Nabid. And I think he was drunk when he was fabricating this ayah. Muhammad was sipping a lot of uh, Jack Daniels, right? He was having Jack Daniels when he was writing these, these ayahs, right? Maryam, Isa, and Allah? What, the, what happened with the Holy Spirit? And why are you adding his mother in the mix, man? Wicked, wicked! Why are you adding wicked, wicked Maryam into the mix? Blue Label, Jack Daniels Blue Label. That, that, that's Johnny Walker, man. You're... My friend, Romeo, you're not confused like Allah, are you? No, no, I'm, I'm kidding, guys, I'm kidding. Yeah. So here, in this ayah, you see that Allah is confused. And we scroll down, here comes the meat. Here comes the, the other disaster. Uh, guys, I hope I'm not, you know, giving you too much information and that you're getting bored. Because we just started yet, right? If we go to the next ayah, the very next ayah, ayah 117... Take a selfie, please. Take a snapshot, right? Make a snapshot and watch the disaster that we are having for the Muslims, that we kept secret for the Muslims. And then you will understand why I chose this topic, right? Now you'll understand. Now watch. Here comes 
the bomb, bomb number one, bomb number one. We have many nuclear bombs today. I'm going, I'm going to jump nuclear bombs on Islam and on the face of the prophet of Islam, right? It's a nuclear bomb after one another, like they dropped the bomb on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. That's what we are going to do. The Tsar Bomba, call it what you, whatever you want to call it. Chapter 5, Surah Al-Ma'idah, same chapter, I 117, the next verse. I did not say to them, ought save what thou didst, and join me with, that serve Allah, my Lord and your Lord. And I was a witness of them, so long I was among them. But, look, this is, this is Isa talking, eh? This is Isa talking. But when thou, this caused me to die. Oh, oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Muslims, Muslims, didn't you always claim... Muslims, didn't you always claim that Isa, that you call Jesus, we know it's not the real Jesus, we already explained that to you. Don't you Muslims for the last 1400 years claim that Isa did not die? But here Isa from his own mouth is saying, you Allah caused me to die. Bam! Aha! Speaking from Kif, Hira, Hira, Hira. Isa is saying, saying to Allah, to Allah. But when thou, thou, did cause me to die, 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 die. So here, Isa is confirming his own death, brother. Isa just said, you, Allah, made me die. So how dare you Muslims lie about your Quran? How dare you to call your own prophet a liar, a deceiver, and a scumbag while your own Quran is saying, confirming the death of Jesus on the cross. Do you see guys? That's nuclear bomb number one. We just dropped a huge nuclear bomb on the face of the Muslims who always lied to us. How many times did the Muslims claim, guys? How many times have you heard Muslims trying to refute the death of Jesus on the cross. Jesus did not die. Die. Yes, he died. Died. You see it? It's highlighted in front of you. Guys, let me give you the link. Let me give you the link. Because this guy who translated here used, you know, normally he drinks taqiyah. The morning when he, you know, when he wakes up, every Muslim, when they want to debate or when they want to translate the Quran or hadith, they drink a little of taqiyah, right? Taqiyah. Or they eat it, depends on what kind of Muslim you are. They smoke it, you know, maybe instead of smoking hashish, he smoked taqiyah. And this is the guy, Shakir. You see it? This is the translation of Shakir. Shakir, he forgot to use taqiyah, brother. Let me make it bigger. Maybe you know, some people have problems with their eyes. Look, Isa is saying, but when thou did cause me to die. This is Isa talking, right? Isa, the Islamic Jesus, is saying, you Allah, you caused me to die. And the word is tawafaytani. Falamma tawafaytani. Do you see it? So you, Allah caused me to die. And the word is tawaffa, tawafaytani. The root word, guys, the root word is tawaffa. When someone asks me, guys, when someone asks me, is your dad still alive? You know, guys, my dad. My dad died a couple years ago, all right? When someone asks me, where is your dad? I will say to him, listen carefully, I'm an Arabic speaker. Abuya, my dad, Abuya Tawaffa. Do you hear it? Abuya Tawaffa. It's the same word. My father died a couple years ago. Right? Abuya Tawaffa. Do you hear it? Tawafaytani Tawaffa. Tawafaytani Tawaffa. Do you hear it? Tawafaytani Tawaffa. So is Rob Christian using Taqiyya? No brother. And this is not my translation. Don't say Rob Christian you are lying. No, no, the proof is in front of you. This is a Muslim by the name of Shakir who is not doing Taqiyya, right? You can, when you go to this website, I gave you the link. You click here on this wheel. You see the English translation by Shakir. Al-Qur'an Al-Kareem, right? Shakir translation. Do did cause me to die. Falamma, when you cause me to die, Isa is saying. So here, 
the Islamic Jesus, the Jesus that they claim Jesus, he confirmed his own death in the Quran. Rob Christian, is this only thing you have? No, brother, I have nuclear bomb number two, brother. Brother, I have nuclear bomb number two for you, brother. Don't worry, be happy. Rob Christian is still here, brother. We are here to serve you some cookies. My admins have also coffee. You know, we have everything you want, right? Depends on what you like. Maybe cookies, maybe some milk. Uh, we, we have a lot of stuff for you. Guys, but before we continue, let us do a nice <clears throat> small break, a coffee break. Be right back. <laughs> ولا تتحرك في الحقيقة الذي عليه علماؤنا كالشيخ الإمام عبد العزيز بن باز الشيخ صالح الفوزان حفظه الله تعالى أن الأرض ثابتة لا تتحرك وهذا هو مقتضى النصوص ومقتضى العقل أصلا والأدلة أيضا كثيرة عن الشمس التي تدور الأدلة العقلية بارك الله فيكم أنكم تقولون أنهم نظريات ومدري كيف حتى نحن عندنا نظريات وعندنا عقول كمسلمين أولا نحن الآن في أين نذهب إلى مطار الشارقة نريد أن نذهب إلى الصين بالطيارة واضح؟ ركزوا معي هذه الأرض إذا قلتم أنها تدور إذا خرجنا من مطار الشارقة برحلة دولية إلى الصين الأرض تدور صح؟ طيب لو وقفت الطائرة في السماء أليست الصين تأتي؟ صح ولا لا؟ تدور تأتي الصين ولا ما تأتي؟ طيب لو كانت الشمس الأرض تدور هكذا لو تمشي الطيارة ما أدري كم تمشي لن تستطيع أن تلحق الصين لأن الصين تدور وأنت تدور ولا تستطيع أن تصل إلى الصين لأنك تدور وهي تدور فكيف تصل إلى الصين ثاني من الأدلة أيضا قوله صلى الله عليه وسلم من البيت المعمور أين البيت المعمور في السماء السابعة محاذاة إيش قال عليه وسلم لو سقط سقط على إيش الكعبة أنتم تقولون الأرض تدور طيب لو سقط هذا والأرض تدور ما يسقط على الكعبة يسقط في البحر أو يسقط في المحيط أو يسقط في البر هكذا هذا يدل على أن الأرض ثابتة all right guys we're back <clears throat> yeah the earth the earth doesn't turn around according to the sheikh that you just heard the earth does not you know <laughs> does not turn you know we, uh, that means we don't have 24 hours a day you know the earth does not soak around itself yeah that's that this is the sheikh of uh, mecca guys i mean this is the sheikh brother right you know you know these are shiuch man you have to believe what they say Right? This is true Islam, brother. Anyway, anyway. This is what it is. So guys, nuclear bomb number two. Chapter three. I hope you have something to drink, guys. Alright? My no. I had a red bull. I have water. I have you know. We can continue. This is chapter three, Surat Ali Omran, I have fifty five. Take notes, let me give you the link. Look what this ayah is saying. Look what this ayah is saying. Recall what time Allah said. Allah is the one talking here. O Isa, verily Allah is saying, I shall make thee die. Uh, 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 bam! Again, Allah is saying, I'm going to make thee die, and I'm going to raise you up. I'm lifting thee to myself. Right? Again, Allah now this time, first time, right? We had Isa confirming his death. Now we have Allah confirming the death of Isa. And you Muslims dare to call Muhammad. And Allah, liars and deceivers, you just called your prophet a liar. You just called your Allah a liar, Muslims. While well, we see over and over that actually Jesus did die and he is raised up. How dare you, Muslims? How dare you, Muslims? You are the liar. Abdul, Isa Mastan, Isa Mastan, I challenge you to call me live. We are, we are live. Guys, give him my Skype ID, please. Give him my Skype ID, the, the admins. Give this Abdul, this Isa Mastan, whatever his name is. Give him my Skype and let's see who is lying. You or me? I mean, it's in front of you. Yeah, Abdul, son of Abdul. 
Ya Abdul, Sayyidina Ya Abdul, it's in front of you. Who is lying, donkey? And the word again, guys, you heard me, right? Mutawafika, tawaffa, mutawafika. So Allah is saying, I'm going to mutawafika. Tawaffa, mutawafika, tawafaitani. Do you hear it? It's the same word. Right? The root word is tawaffa. Tawaffa. Abuya tawaffa. My dad died. Mutawafika. Tawafaitani. It's the same word. And guys, this word is mentioned around 18 times in the Quran in the context of dying. Right? The same word, tawaffa, mutawafika, mentioned at least 18 times on the context, in the context of dying or death, right? Tawaffa, tawafaitani, tawaffa, tawafaitani, Abu Yatawafa, my dad died. Isa is saying, when you cause me to, to die, falamma tawafaitani, Inni mutawafika. Allah is saying, I am causing you to die. I am causing you to die. I am making you die. Alright? Tawaffa. Tawafaitani. Mutawafika. Let me get, copy this word. Alright? Here. This is the word. Guys, let us go to Google. Sheikh Google. Peace be upon him. Sheikh Google. Peace be upon him. Let's see what Sheikh Google is going to say what Sheikh Google has in store for us. I mean, maybe Rob Christian is lying, brother. You you heard the Muslim. The Muslim said, you know, the Muslim said, Rob Christian, you are the liar. Let's see who's lying, you donkey. Let's see. This is the same word, brother. Brother, this is the same word. Arabic, right? Mutawafika. Mutawafika. Do you hear it? Muta, mutawafika. It's the same word, right? I only did copy paste, right? Copy paste. Do you see it? It's the same word. What does it say? You are dead, brother. Brother, do you see it, brother? It says you are dead. Uh oh. Who is the stupid donkey? You or me, ya Abdul, son of Abdul? Yeah, idiot. <laughs> you idiot. Who are you calling a liar, you donkey? Arabic is my native tongue. Idiot! It's my native tongue. How dare you? Imagine guys saying to a Chinese, China man, a Chinese, he, uh, Mr. Chinese, you are lying. You don't know your language, brother. You are dead, brother. This is a, a you know, a messed up translation, but you get the idea, right? This is still a Google Translate, right? But you get the idea. You are dead. Cause me to die. Root word is death. Dying. It's the same word, brother. Right? So again, for the second time, we dropped a, a bomb. And we see that Jesus' death in the Quran of Allah, in the Quran of Muhammad, the yellow pages of Muhammad, Jesus' death is confirmed. We are confirming this, showing this live on air. And no Muslim has the courage and the knowledge to call us. Why? Thank you, Bernard. Uh, thank you for sending me the Skype message. Bernard is saying, God bless you for all you do. Thank you, my friend. God bless you too. Do we have any Muslim who thinks he has the courage and the knowledge? We already dropped two nuclear bombs and no Muslim can do anything about it. Where is the Imam? Where is the Sheikh? Where is the Ustaz, brother, who can refute the Arab Christian, brother? We are live on air, brother. Where are you, Muslims? Where are you, ya heroes of Islam? Where is the Fifi? Where is the Amin? Where is the Muhammad Hijab, Mimi? Where is Lili? Lili, Lili, stop cleaning the shoes of your boyfriend, Mimi Hijab. Call me, you idiot. You have more than 200,000 subscribers and you don't dare to call me. You know, Muslims must be really ashamed that no Muslim hero can stand up and call us and refute us. And I, yesterday, guys, I, how many hours was that when I challenged the entire Muslim ummah? I challenged the entire Muslim nation. 
if you have the courage and the knowledge, you call yourself an Ustaz, an Imam or a Sheikh, call us on my next live show. We are live, where are they? Where are they? I truly pity you Muslims that no Ustaz, no Imam that is teaching you about Islam, have the courage and the knowledge to call me live and refute Rob Christian. As long guys, I made a promise, I took a vow. As long Muslims cannot refute us, we will continue spanking their prophet left and right. We will continue drop nuclear bombs on the face of your prophet, who is now rotting somewhere in Medina, right? In his grave, somewhere in Medina. And you Muslims cannot do anything about us except calling us all kind of names. My friend, let me tell you a little secret. Your insults do not hurt me. Your insults are actually a blessing. Showing everybody that Rob Christian is not lying. Showing everybody that Christian Prince is not lying. Showing everybody that David Wood is not lying. Why don't you have the courage to step up and debate us? Idiots. And you claim, you claim that you have followed the religion of truth that you call Islam. I mean, if you follow the religion of truth, why are you so scared? Why did you become kittens? Right? When, you know, when we are offline, when we stop streaming, you will see a lot of comments in the comment section under my video. Muslims being lions in the comment section. But when we are live, they all become kittens. Meow. Meow. Uh, uh, oh boy. Oh boy. So that was <laughs> nuclear bomb number two on the face of the fake prophet of Islam. And no Muslim can do anything about it. You have to deal with the fact that Allah confirming that he is the one who put Jesus to die. You know, he caused him to die. He made Jesus die. Do you see it? Verily, Allah is saying, I shall make thee die. Do you see it? And I'm going to lift you up, raise you up, right? So when Muslims say this word is raising up, no, no, what are you going to do with the next word? Right? Right? What are you going to do with the next word? This word means causing you to die. What, what about this word, raising up? How can this word be the same? So Allah is saying, I'm going to raise you, raise you up. Guys, according to the Muslims, look, look at the, look at the, intelligence of the Muslims. Look at the intelligent shiuch of Islam. Are you saying that Allah is going to say, guys, let's, let's go with them, all right? Let, let's go with their stupidity. Is Allah is going to say, I am going to raise, and again, raise you up? Is that what you're saying, Muslims? Allah, uh, you know, there's something wrong with Allah. Allah is, uh, you know, buffering. Allah is buffering guys, Allah when he's doing live streaming in the Quran, Allah is saying, I'm going to raise, raise, raise you up Isa, right? Is that what you're saying Muslims? But we know very well that this word is causing you to die, inni mutawafika, I'm causing you to die, and the other one is I'm going to lift you up or raise you up, wa arfa'uka, right? Allah is stuck, yeah, Allah, his, you know, his CD, Guys, remember when we used to use CDs back in the old days? You know, when we were students, we used to listen to music. You know, you had those CDs, when you drop it, you know, you leave it somewhere, it got scratches on it. And when you're going to put it in your disc man or, you know, CD player back in the old days, you know, uh, you know, it used to, you know, wicked, wicked, you know, uh, raise, raise. Yeah, so Allah, that's what Allah is doing basically. Someone's saying, what's a CD? <laughs> There's a scratch, yeah. There's a scratch. <laughs> yeah, guys, look how old Rob Christian is. He knows what a disc man is, bruh. Hey, what can I do, guys? I'm very old school guy. I used to debate on Paul Talk, like Zakaria Butros, like Christian Prince. Yeah, we are from the old days. I know, I know. Yeah. Keep insulting me guys, keep calling me an old guy. I'm, I'm old, what can I do? Maybe I'm sound young, you know? God gifted, you know, blessed me, sounding me young. But I'm not young, okay? I'm not that young. I'm younger than Christian Prince, you know? 
poor Christian prince, he's old man, he has a big long beard, it's gray, mine, I have a big beard, but it's not that white and gray like Christian prince. <laughs> Someone saying you sound 16, well, man, after today's live show, I'm going to celebrate, if I'm 16 again. Thank you so much, Hafsa. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, that's a good one, actually. Guys, we have many amazing people in the live chat. We have our dear sister, Sonia Azam7. She's a really dear sister of mine. Make sure to subscribe to her YouTube channel too. God bless you, sister. She's an ex muslima Now she became a Christian and she has an amazing YouTube channel. So support the warriors in Christ, right? Support everyone who is doing our kind of work, guys. Any Muslim, guys? Do we have any Muslim? We have five dislikes. And we have more than 200 people watching, man. Come on. Mayday, mayday. Hello. Where are the lions, man, of Islam, man? Only keyboard jihadis, brother. Sonia Azam, you, you used to be a Muslim, right? Sonia Azam, now you are a dear Christian sister. A sister in Christ. What are you thinking about the Muslims of today? You know, when you were a Muslim, you, you know, they used to tell you Islam is so beautiful. We have, we follow the deen, the true religion, right? Deen al-Haq, right? The, tr the religion of truth. Why are they then not stepping up? And refuting us because we are barbecuing Allah and we are barbecuing the fake prophet of Islam and serving them for everybody to see. Allah is buffering, yeah. Sonia Azam is saying, I laughed out loud when you said Allah is buffering. Yeah, Allah is buffering. Because if you're going to say that this word and this word is the same, that means Allah is saying, I raise, I raise, I raise, I raise thee up. No. Allah is saying, I cause you to die and I will lift you up. You have to deal with these Muslims. And guys, this is the translation of Darya Badi. This guy forgot to drink taqiyya that morning when he was translating. Let me give you the link. This is the correct translation, right? Someone here forgot to use taqiyya. Darya Badi, do you see it? Al-Quran al kareem English translation by Darya Badi. And this guy forgot to use taqiyya because here he is actually honest. Right? Verily, Allah is saying, I shall make thee die, O Isa. Right? Thank you, Angie Ford. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. I'm not doing this for myself, guys. I am doing this for the truth. And only the truth will prevail. Muslims, you really need to wake up. You have been lied to. Your shuyukh, your imams have lied to you. For the last 1400 years, actually we can find in your Quran that the death of Jesus is confirmed. We showed you chapter 517 and chapter 3, ayah 55. We gave you the links. I dare you to call me and tell me in front of everybody, in my face, Rob Kishin, you are lying. I challenge you to call me. Our Skype is open, right? Muslims, either you're going to choose, accept that actually Jesus did die on the cross and the Christianity is the truth. That means your Muslim heroes have lied to you, your shiuch have lied to you. Or you're going to choose to stay blind, mute and deaf and still be, stay a Muslim. Either you're going to choose option one or option two. Leave Islam, option number one. Option number two, stay mute. Deaf and blind and continue in this disgusting cult of yours. And we know that only the shiuch, because of the shiuch, Islam still stands. These imams, these nasty lying imams, though they are the reason that Islam is still alive. And guys, make sure, guys mark my words. I am not, guys, I'm not actually defending the death and resurrection of Jesus. No, no. I'm not defending it by going to the Quran. I don't need the Quran. Because we have historical proof. We have historical evidence. We have the eyewitnesses. 
We have more than 500 people who saw Jesus, who walked with Jesus, right? We don't need Islam to prove the death and resurrection of Jesus. Guys, don't confuse, don't get confused. But what we are doing is by showing the Muslims that even the Quran is confirming the death and resurrection of Jesus. Even the Quran. I am causing you to die and I am lifting you up. This is not my Quran, this is your Quran Muslims. Deal with it. If you cannot handle the truth, that's not my business. Deal with the truth. Shame on you. Shame on you for lying to the non-Arabic speaking Christians in your debased for the last 1400 years. You see guys how important it is to know Arabic? Because I can go to the words. Mutawafika, cause you to die. And we showed you the word. Even Google Translate is saying, you are dead. Do you see it? Mutawafika, this is the word, same word. You are dead. Dead. That means dead. All right? Do we have any Muslim? Hello? Any Muslim? Anyone? <clears throat> Are we out of Islam again? Are we out of Muslims? We have five dislikes, man. Come on. Okay, since we don't have any Muslims, we will continue by dropping nuclear bomb number three. Number three. We drop number one. If you missed that, you need to rewatch this live show, guys. Rewatch it, all right? We drop number two, bomb number two, nuclear bomb number two, and we're going to drop nuclear bomb number three. From the Quran again. I'm not going to a hadith that Muslims say, Rob Christian, we reject the hadith. This is the Quran, brother. This is Quran. Guys, we showed you this idiot, right? Let me go there. We showed you this idiot who commented yesterday on my challenge, right? This is from the challenge that I show me. Right? I gave the challenge to the Muslims. Where in the Quran does it say Jesus did not die on the cross? That was my yesterday's challenge. And this Abdul here said, you know, it's mentioned in chapter 4, I 157, 158. Donkey. And I told him, maybe you missed it, you are a smart, you know, you are very smart Abdul. Now read the ayah in context and spank yourself and your Imam who taught you Islam. If you think you or your imam can refute me then step up we are live now guys we are live this was yesterday step up act like a man on skype is that a deal let us see who the hypocrite is because he's calling me a hypocrite and a liar and let us see who the stupid christians are so you see he's calling us stupid so i told him you muhammadans or us who is the stupid who is the hypocrite us the christians or you clearly if you think you have the truth then you should not be scared, right, Mr. Waste of Time? He's calling me Waste of Time, a hypocrite, and you are stupid Christians. Come, show me your face, brother. Show your face on my Skype. If you have the truth, maybe we are stupid. Maybe we Christians are stupid. Come and refute me, man. I'm doing a lot of damage, man. Where are your shiuch, man? Nuclear bomb number three. This is the ayah that he quoted, right? Chapter four. All right, chapter four. Surah An Nisa, ayah 157. We are not scared to go to that ayah, brother. We are here. We are not scared of you. We are not Islamophobes. We are not scared of Islam. You, guys, it's funny. I always laugh my ass off when Muslims call us Islamophobes. Phobia, what is the meaning of phobia? That means you are scared of something, right? The word guy who invented the word Islamophobes or Islamophobia, that guy was not really smart. Because no, he, no one here is afraid of Islam, man. Anyone in the live chat who is afraid of Islam, give me a two if you are afraid of Islam. People who are watching, if you are afraid of Islam, give me a number two. I don't see many number twos, guys. What's wrong? Are you not scared of Islam? Are you guys not Islamophobes? 
Seems no one here is an Islamophobe, man. Oh, Lily Mimi, you're an Islamophobe. Well, congratulations, man. So that means you're scared, scared of Islam. I don't want to be you, Lolo Mimi. Aaron Aarons, I don't want to be you. <laughs> because it seems that you are scared of Islam. No one here should be scared of Islam. Many people are scared of Islam. Wow, we have at least four people who are scared of Islam. <laughs> or maybe they are just trolling. I think you are trolling. Yeah, you, you Christians, you, you, you Christians, you, you are trolling me. Yeah? Ah, ah, ah. ah, now I understand. You are trolling. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. I, I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> Aaron, Aaron, if you are not trolling, Aaron, Aaron, why are you scared? What makes Islam look so scary, man? I mean, we have only kittens. You don't you see that the Muslims are too afraid to call me and refute me? <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, let us go back to the teaching. Chapter 4, Surah An nisa Ayah 157. When we read it in context, guys, this is the way... This is the way to read this ayah in context. Because when we ask Muslims, show us an ayah where it says that Jesus was not killed and he did not die. Because that's what they claim, right? That's the, that's the challenge, right guys? That is my challenge. Where in the Quran does it say Jesus did not die on the cross? That's the challenge. And they go to this ayat because this is the only ayat they can go to. The whole Quran does not speak of the crucifixion except this one. So they have only one ayat, guys. Just, can you imagine? Can you imagine that your whole religion, right? When you are trying to refute Christians, it's only based on this ayah from this chapter. This is the. This is it. Yeah, we we hit the record, guys. 230, 240 people watching at the moment. That's a new record. Guys, thank you so much. Without you, we cannot do this. Thank you so much. I know it's not all about numbers, but when we can reach many people, you know, it, you know, it gives me a, a warm feeling from inside. I appreciate it. I want to thank you for the support. I pray to God to bless you and your family. You know, thank you guys. Thank you for your trust and support for my full-time ministry. So guys, let us read the ayah in context. Because Muslims always cry for the context. Rob Christian, you have to go to the context. Okay, let us go to the context. Thank you, David Rai. I love you too. I love all of you, including the Muslims. This is why we do this. This is why we expose Islam, so you can come back home to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let us read the ayah in context, guys. Take your pens out. Guys, take your pens out and start taking notes. This is the way to read the ayah in context. When we ask Muslims, who is this one talking? They say, it's the Jews. So guys, the ones who are saying we are the Jews. So the we are the Jews, right? The Israelites. So pay attention, the we that you see here highlighted are the Jews, the Israelites. That they said, the Jews said, boasting, do you see it? They are boasting. They say, the Jews say, we killed the Messiah. We killed the Christ. Question. Question from Kaif, Hira, 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 Hira. Show me one Jew in the whole history of Jews. Just one Jew who said, I killed the Messiah. Show me one Jew who claimed that he killed the Messiah. Show me one Jew who claimed that he killed the Messiah. Just one. Not many Jews, right? Who, who dare to make that claim because the Jews are still waiting for the Messiah to come. So this is lie number one. So Allah and Muhammad are lying. No Jew would ever dare to say, we killed the Messiah. No Jew. Because how can you make that claim if you are waiting for your Messiah? Right? Did you catch it? The Messiah, right? 
we killed the Messiah. The Jews are saying, وَقَوْلِهِمْ إِنَّا قَتَلْنَا الْمَسِيحَ Do you see it? And they are saying, it's their saying, the Jews saying, we killed the Messiah. That's what the Arabic says, right? We killed the Messiah, the Jews are saying. Wait, no Jew would dare. Yes, you can get the link, Mr. Uh, Mr. Daoud. This is the link. Chapter 4, I 157. So here, this is line number one. So here Muhammad is lying about the Jews. Take notes, guys. Point number one, Muhammad in his yellow pages is lying about the Jews. Because no Jew would dare say, we killed the Messiah. All right? That's lie number one. And if we continue reading, so they say we killed al Masih, right? Jesus, the son of Mary, the messenger of Allah. But who, they, who's the day guys? Again, I hope you are paying attention. Who are the day? Who are the day? I'm asking our audience in the live chat. Who are the day? Who are the day in this highlighted part? Anyone? Again, Mayday, Mayday. Who are the day? The Bani Israel. You hit the jackpot, my friend. Congratulations, you're correct. So the Jews are saying, right? We killed the Messiah, but they, the Jews, did not kill him. They killed him not. Who? The Messiah, nor did they crucify him. Wait, wait, wait. I have to agree here. Guys, I have to agree with this part. Rob Christian, why? Why are you agreeing with the Quran? Because the Jews actually did not kill Jesus. <laughs> so guys, do you understand what the context is here? The IS is trying to refute the Jews saying, we killed the Messiah, right? And when we continue reading, it says they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him. Uh oh, uh oh, yes, the Jews wanted Jesus dead. We know that the Jews wanted Jesus dead, but they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him because Jesus died on the cross and it was the Romans who put Jesus on the cross, not the Jews. So technically, the Romans, the Romans put Jesus on the cross, not the Jews. So who is this ayah refuting? The Jews. This ayah is, this ayah is trying to refute only the Jews. Guys, this ayah, nowhere in this ayah does it say, nowhere in this ayah does it say that the Romans did not kill him or put him on the cross. Sorry, because Jesus died on himself, right? No one killed Jesus. Jesus died on the cross. Then, right, then a Roman soldier put the spear in his side. So Jesus died on himself on the cross. No one killed Jesus. Not even the Romans. Yes, they put him on the cross, but he died. Right? Because normally, back in the old days, right? Back in the old days, they, you know, people used to suffer for many hours, many days on the cross. But Jesus died in a couple of, you know, in a very short period, right? Very short period. I almost knocked off my uh, $5 mic, man. I Guys, can you imagine? I have a $5 mic and I'm, be, I'm using this five dollar mic i kid you not for the last 15 years i've been using this mic this very cheap mic to spank islam and muhammad this five dollar mic you know is a legendary mic this mic <laughs> is you know it's very precious for me brother i think it's made in china very cheap old mic but i think it still sounds good right Little bit tweaking here now. You see, guys, how you see how rich Rob Christian is. He's using a five dollar mic to you know for the last fifteen years, man. Five. This is a true legendary mic because clearly no imam, no sheikh can refute us. This this mean this this mic, man. It's 
It's not even gold, man. It's not from gold. It's cheap plastic made, man. I think it's maybe Taiwan or China. I don't know. Anyway. See those famous streamers, you know, on Twitch or whatever these platforms are called nowadays. They use, you know, thousands of dollars of equipment. Bro, I've, I'm using a $5 mic and I'm spanking your profit. And you Muslims cannot do anything about it. It's me saying, lol, give me a break, $5 mic. Do you don't believe me, man? Do you think I'm doing taqiyya? <laughs> Come on, man. Let's see if we... Somebody's saying, call me. Who are you? Mr. Salmon Player, who are you? G why? Give me, send me a message. My Skype ID is Dirob Christian. If you are a Muslim, only if you are a Muslim, this is my Skype ID, right? The Rob Christian. Call me there or send me a message and I will call you. <clears throat> yeah, guys, this is actually a very bad mic. But because, you know, I tweaked in my software, this is why it sounds so rich. Some people ask me, Rob Christian, why do you sound so rich with such a cheap mic? Well, because, you know, I'm using a stream program and I have other programs that are cleaning the sound. This is one. You know, I watched many YouTube tutorials to achieve this kind of sound from a $5 mic. <laughs> yeah. Any Muslim, send me a message, Mr. Uh, Salmon Player. I think it's Ultimate Shirk. And you know. Uh, why are you not sending a message so I can call you, man? Are you wasting my time? I think it's the same uh, David Woods guy. I think it's Ultimate Shirk. Came to play. He's, it's Ultimate Shirk, guys. It's the same guy. Look at his profile picture. It's the David Woods guy. You know, it's David Woods. Uh, troll, man. So, guys. Do you see? Even in this ayah that Muslims love to tell you about it. This ayah does not actually refute the death of and resurrection of Jesus. This is only attacking the Jews. The Jews did not kill him, nor did they crucify him. But that's true. The Jews never killed Jesus. The Romans put Jesus on the cross. The Jews had no authority to kill Jesus. Right, guys? Do you see the disaster? Then it continues, but so it was made to appear to them. And those who differ therein are full of doubts. So it made appear to look to the Jews. But Jesus did actually die. Because it does not refute the fact that Jesus did die. Show me where this ayah is saying that Jesus did not die. Show me. It only is attacking the Jews. Right? But only they are in conjecture to follow for of surely they killed him not. We know, we know, we agree that the Jews did not kill Jesus. We agree. But Jesus was at the hand of the Romans. He was put on the cross and he died from his suffering. Because they beat him to Pope, right? To a bloody Pope. Jesus was beaten, right? And he died on the cross for sure. Even, guys, have you heard of the name Bart Ehrman? Muslims love to quote Bart Ehrman. Even Bart Ehrman, who is a scholar, right? A historian, even Bart Ehrman, go look it up. Even Bart Ehrman says the following. I hope I'm not butchering his name. Bart Ehrman saying, Jesus' death on the cross is a historical fact. So Mr. Bart Ehrman that you Muslim love to quote to, he's an enemy of Christianity, right? Even he says that the death of Jesus on the cross is a historical fact. Right? So-called historia. One collisions, one say, you know, right? You know what I mean. But even this enemy, this Bart Ehrman, actually cannot lie, cannot refute that Jesus did actually die on the cross. He's an atheist, yes. So Muslims, when you love to quote Bart Ehrman, you are destroying Allah, you are destroying Muhammad, you are destroying Islam, because Bart Ehrman agrees with the Christians, 
He's an atheist. He agrees with the Christians that Jesus did die on the cross. It's a historical event. It's a historical fact. You Muslims cannot handle the truth. Right? So we showed you guys nuclear number one. Nuclear bomb number one. Chapter 5, I-117. Showing you that Jesus saying, You Allah caused me to die. But when thou did cause me to die. So you see it? Jesus himself, the Islamic Jesus, is confirming his death on the cross. And in chapter 3, ayah 50, we see that Allah, Allah said, O Isa verily, I shall make thee die. Do you see it? And I'm lifting thee to myself. And we told you about the root word. We told you about tawaffa, mutawafika, tawafaitani. It all means death. Even... Google Translate agrees with Rob Christian. Bam! Uh -huh. Speaking from Cave, Hira, Hira, Rob Christian, Christian, are you actually saying and proving to us, us, that the Quran agrees on the death and resurrection of Jesus? Jesus. My answer is yes. <laughs> we showed you from three different ayahs. Chapter 5, chapter 3, and chapter 4. Do you see it? Kif, hira, hira, hira. Guys, I hope you are benefiting from today's teaching. And I really, really, to help, help me to help you, I hope you took notes. We gave you the links, right? Let me give you this link too. Bookmark them, save them, use them in your debates. Mark my words, the word tawaffa, tawaffa is mentioned about 18 times in the Quran, in the context of dying. Tawaffa, right? Tawaffa is dying, it's death. Isa is saying, فَلَمَّا تَوَفَّيْتَنِي And Allah is saying, إِنِّي مُتَوَفِّيكَ I am causing you to die, Allah is saying. Praise the Lord, even the book of Satan, even the book of Satan is confirming the death and resurrection of Jesus. Even the yellow pages, the book of Satan himself, the book of Muhammad, the agent of Satan, the prophet of Satan confirms the death and resurrection of Jesus. How beautiful is that guys? How beautiful that even Satan cannot refute the fact and actually needs to confirm the death and resurrection of Jesus. How beautiful is that? Even the book of Satan, which is the Quran. How beautiful is that, guys? How beautiful is that, that even the prophet of Satan, i.e. Muhammad, the fake prophet of Islam, cannot refute the fact that Jesus did die on the cross and resurrected on the third day. Even the book of Satan confirms his death and resurrection. How beautiful is that? Guys, and I told you before, we don't need the Quran to prove that Jesus did die and resurrected. Yesu al Masih qam, haqqan qam. Jesus Christ died and resurrected on the third day. He is risen. Indeed, He is risen. Yesu al Masih qam, haqqan qam. That's what we say in the Arabic. He is risen, truly is risen. Amen to that. And you Muslims cannot do anything about it except. Hiding in the bushes. Rob Christian, when Muslims quote, let me explain to you guys, when Muslims quote this chapter, 4, I-157, and we already explained to you and refuted it, right? Refuted the fact that the ayah does not say that Jesus did not die on the cross. Where do you think, guys, Muhammad stole this from? Because Muhammad, surely, like all the ayahs, he was plagiarizing fabricating but at the same time stealing it from somewhere muhammad must have got this idea from somewhere rob christian idiot salman player you idiot how can i speak to you if you are not calling me i think we have another caller must by the name of muslim king this guy let me call this guy i missed the call let's see who this guy is I told you if it's ultimate donkey, I'm not going to take it because I don't waste my time with wannabe Muslims. Yalla, yalla. 
think a waste of time. It's the same ding donkey, man. Idiot. Waste of time, man. You see? They are only, they only want to stop us, you know, stop our teaching. That's what they do. That's what they're after. They know they can't defeat us. They know they can't refute us. So only thing they have is waste our time. Guys, how many times did we tell you? How many times did we tell you that Waraqa ibn Nufil, the Waraqa ibn Nufil was translating the ayahs for Muhammad, translating from the gospel to help him out, right? Let me show you. We mentioned this. <clears throat> Let me show you. Let me go to the right hadith, guys, to prove it to you. Right. Waraqa ibn Nufil was helping Muhammad by stealing from the gospel. Stealing from here. Stealing from there. Let's see if I got the right ayah. Sorry, right hadith. Uh, okay, I think I got it. Is this the one? I, think, I hope this is the one. I hope this is the one. Because I want to show you the right Sahih al Bukhari. This is Sahih Bukhari, right? Sahih al Bukhari. It's reported actually all over the Sahih hadith. This is the hadith from the mouth of Aisha, narrated Aisha. If we scroll down, you know, last time if you missed our live show, you have to go and watch it about is Jibreel a demon or an angel? Right? I think it was really an amazing live show. Thanks to the Lord. Turned out to be great. And we spanked Muhammad and we showed you how Khadija created Islam. Because Khadija wanted Muhammad to become a prophet. It was her wish. It was all about Khadija, right? It was Khadija. Here is the part, right? Okay. Waraka. Look guys, let me make it bigger. Are you still with me, guys? I hope you are still with me. I'm, I still, I hope that you're still with me. I am not putting you asleep. Give me one if you're with me, guys, to, just to make sure that you guys are listening. Okay. Okay. So, guys, guys, I cannot teach and at the same time answer your questions in the live chat. So, you have to bear with me. For, wait, guys, we will try to ask your questions in the chat and we will maybe take also calls. When we are done, okay? You have to wait. I told you that before. It says here that Khadija, after Muhammad told his wife, cover me, cover me, falamasani jinn, right? A jinn touched me, a demon touched me, Muhammad told Khadija. Khadija said, no, no, this cannot be, this cannot be a jinn. This must be an angel, brother. Khadija is saying to Muhammad. So she then took him to Waraka, the cousin of Khadija, her cousin, right? Khadija then took Muhammad to Waraka ibn Nufil, her cousin. And if we continue reading, it says, the son of Khadija's paternal uncle. Waraka had been converted to Christianity. That's not what the Arabic says. It says Nasara, right? Nasrani, became a Nasrani. There's nothing called Christianity in the Arabic. It's a lie, false translation. But what else is new? So Waraka became a Nasrani. Guys, I rewatched my own live show last time and I saw a couple of people and I missed it because this is why I always say guys, wait till I'm done. You know what I found out and I re was really shocked. People, some people in the live chat, I'm not sure who this guy was, but I saw a couple of people, I, actually not just one, but two Christians at least. You know what they said? That Nestorians, that Waraka was a Nestorian. No, he was not an historian, guys. Don't make that mistake. Waraka was not a historian. Waraka was a Nasrani. Nasrani. He became a Nasrani. Nasara are not historians. Nasara, don't make that mistake. Nasara are not historians. Okay? Why, Rob Christian? 
Because the Nestorians, you know, back in the times, there was a lot of misconception, unfortunately, in our holy church, right? Our church, there were many, you know, many things happened. The schism, sorry if I'm butchering the word, yeah, English is not my mother tongue. You remember when the church, you know, things got separated and they actually, the church thought that the Nestorians were not Christians. They were heretics, which is a false. The Nestorians, guys, go go and learn something. Nestorians were actually Trinitarians. Nestorians, Nestorians are Trinitarian Christians like you and me. Like you and me. If you call yourself a Christian, you must be a Trinitarian Christian. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, right? So they, the Nestorians, people, the church was confused about these people. They were actually real Christians, all right? So don't ever say that Nestorians are heretical people. No, that's lie. All right, guys? Did you catch it? So the Nestorians were Christians. They were Trinitarians. But there was many confusion, all right? All right? So... Waraka is not a Nestorian. He is a Nasrani. He is a true heretical fake wannabe Christian. Alright? So the Nasara are heretic, fake Christians, right? I hope we, you know, we close this part. Never ever again say that Nestorians are wannabe Christians. They are actually true Christians, alright? Yeah, Waraka was a Christian wannabe. Exactly, guys. You know, this is why, you know, I can split myself into two people and look at the chat and at the same time teach you. Guys, you have to bear with me, okay? I really try to answer all your questions, but I cannot teach and pay attention to the live chat. All right, guys? All right. So let me go back. So Waraka became a Nisrani. There's nothing called Christian here. I will give you a thousand dollar Muslim if you can show me the word Christians or Christianity here in the chat. Uh, sorry, here in the Arabic. It doesn't say that. All right? I give you a thousand dollars if you can show me the word Christianity. <laughs> anyway. So, he became an Asrani in the pre-Islamic period, who, Waraka, I used to write Arabic and write of the gospel in Arabic as much as Allah wished him to write. Guys, question. Is Waraka, is Waraka, a prophet too? I mean, it says, Allah wished him to write. So Allah was sending divine revelation. Allah was sending divine commands to Waraka now. Not only to Muhammad. You Muslims say Muhammad is the last prophet. The seal of all the prophets. So it seems that Allah had another prophet in the same time period of Muhammad. You see it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Rob Christian. Stop bringing down the hammer on Islam all the time, man. Rob Christian, what's wrong with you, man? <laughs> let it go, Christians. Let it go. Let it go. It seems that not only Muhammad was receiving so-called divine revelation from Allah, also Waraka himself. Because Allah was commanding him to write the gospel in Arabic. Do you see it? He was writing the gospel in Arabic. So now you understand, guys, how Muhammad was hel getting help from Waraka. This is how Muhammad was plagiarizing the gospel. He was stealing from the gospel and he was getting help from Waraka himself, right? The cousin of Khadija, right? This Waraka did a, a lot of damage, right? A lot of damage. He was helping him together with his cousin Khadija creating Islam. Here, these people are actually the ones who helped Muhammad to create Islam. Yeah, God is good, guys. We have around 250 people watching. Wow, that's a blessing, guys. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for your support, for being here. So now that we understand that Waraka was helping Muhammad, translating from books like the gospel, right? Did you catch it? He was getting help from people like Waraka. Other sources say that even Zayd ibn Thabit 
who compiled the Quran for Uthman, the Zayn ibn Thabit, was also helping Muhammad. Zayn ibn Thabit and Waraka ibn Nufal could write and read Aramaic. So Waraka was helping reading from the Aramaic, translating to Arabic. Ah, ah, Rab Christian, the puzzle pieces are fitting in the right places. Ah, now we understand what you are doing, Rab Christian. Exactly, exactly. That's what we are trying to teach you. Where did Muhammad got chapter 4, I 157, Rab Christian? Where did he get this from? This Gnostic idea. Well, it, it actually... It actually existed before Muhammad, before Islam. Have you ever heard of the second treatise of the Great Set, guys? It's a Gnostic writing, an apocryphal Gnostic writing discovered in Egypt. It's from the 3rd century and the writer of this gospel, it's found in Nag Hammadi codices and dates to around the 3rd century. Three centuries before Muhammad, guys. Muhammad lived in the 6th century, right? Late 6th century, beginning of the 7th century, right? So this is a 3rd century Gnostic writing. Do you see it? Muhammad stole from this Gnostic man-made writing. It's a man-made writing to attack Christianity. Gnostic writing. And it says... The author appears to belong of group of Gnostics who maintain that Jesus Christ was not crucified on the cross. Uh -huh. By the help of Waraka in the 6th century, Muhammad was having access to these kind of Gnostic books, right? Like the Great Set, the second treatise of the Great Set. Waraka was translating for him, and Muhammad put it in the Quran. The copy-paste prophet of Islam. Yes, come back. Guys, this reminds me, you know, Muhammad sounds like a Nigerian scammer. Muhammad sounds like a Nigerian scammer who, who you know, they are scamming people on the internet and on the phone. That's what Muhammad was doing. He was scamming those poor illiterate Arabs. The desert Arab Quraysh people. He was copying from here, copying from there, and he created Quran and Islam together with Khadija and Waraka ibn Nufal. Not only that, Rob Christian, are you not finished hammering down, bringing down the hammer on the face of the fake prophet of Islam? No. Rob Christian is still here. And you Muslims cannot do anything about it. Except your Imams are hiding from me in their bushes. <sighs> Rob Christian, take a sip man. Drink something. <coughs> Guys, my throat is gone. I know. I sound, you know, like a... I don't know what you want to call me. Yes, my, my, my voice is gone, but we will continue, guys. No problem. If the Holy Spirit wants me to continue, I will continue. Guys, have you heard of Dostism? Dostism? It's a Christian heresy. Guys, please read with me. Let me give you the link. Let me give you the link. Have you ever heard of Dostism? It's a Christian heresy and one of the earliest Christian sectarian doctrines affirming that Christ did not have a real or natural body during his life on earth but only an apparent or phantom one so these are agnostic doctrines agnostic doctrines right through its incipient forms are alluded to in a new testament such as the letters of john dostism became more fully developed as an important doctrine Sorry guys if I'm butchering English. Position of Gnosticism. Do you see it? Uh oh. Rob Christian. What are you trying to say Rob Christian? Let me continue. A religious dualist system of belief arising in the 2nd century. Guys take notes. This started to develop in the 2nd century AD. Much too late. Jesus lived in the 1st century. The eyewitnesses, the disciples of Jesus, lived in the first century. 
Oh, now I understand what's what's going on, Rob Christian. Now I'm now I'm following you. Let us continue. Which held that matter was evil and the spirit good, and claimed that salvation was attained only through esoteric knowledge or gnosis. Do you see it? So if we continue reading, what does it say more? More thoroughgoing Dostasists asserted that Christ was born without any participation, sorry, participation of matter, and that all the acts and suffering of his life, including the crucifixion, were mere appearances. Uh oh, guys, do you understand what is happening here? Do you understand what is going on? Muhammad stole from here and there from Gnostic writings and put it in the Quran. Because what does the Quran say again, guys? What does the Quran say? It appeared to them. But so Jesus, the, the Jews did not kill him, nor did they crucify him, but so it was made to appear to them. Ah, so Muhammad stole from here and there, made his own mixture, like, he made his own mixture and he put it in this iron. Copy paste. And he was getting the help of Waraka ibn Nawfal. Do you see how Muhammad, where he got the idea from? He got the idea from a much late 2nd century, 3rd century Gnostic writings <laughs> claiming that Jesus did not die on the cross. Did you catch it? Including the crucifixion were mere appearances. Wow, Rob Kishan, you are barbecuing Muhammad here. I gave you the link, let me give you the link again, you can read it. And if we continue reading guys, all the way down, you will see the following. Right, you will see the, what it says here. Dostasism, Dostism was attacked by all the opponents who are, in this case, the Christians of Gnosticism, right? We Christians, because we have the truth, we are spanking those liars, these Gnostic people who were inventing stuff, lying about Christ, his death and resurrection in the second and third century. And this hero of ours, one of the early church fathers, Bishop Ignatius of Antioch in the second century. So one of the church fathers was spanking, like Rob Christian now is spanking Muhammad, he was spanking these liars and deceivers. You see it? He was one of our heroes, like John of Damascus. Guys, we mentioned John of Damascus in one of our early live shows. Remember that teaching that I was giving you? John of Damascus was spanking Islam. Back in the old days, in the early days of Islam. And here, our hero, one of the church, early church fathers, Bishop Ignatius of Antioch, was spanking those liars and deceivers, these poor, illiterate Gnostics, agnostics, right? Do you see how Muhammad got the idea? He was stealing, plagiarizing from early sources, lies about the death and resurrection of Jesus, right? The death of Jesus on the cross. And by this we conclude our live show guys. I hope you took notes. For the love of God, all the links that we gave you, you can find them back in the live chat. You know, YouTube needs, let's say around 45 minutes to process this video that you're watching. So if you are interested and want to rewatch it and find the links that we gave you, you will find them back in the live chat. And our dear brother in Christ, one of the admins, Phil Herrera, always provides the links, the sources that we used, also in the comment section. So if you want them, go back and you will see them a couple hours later in the comment section. All right, guys? Here, our brother Phil Herrera will post the links. Phil Herrera, keep him in our prayers, guys. Keep all the elements in, our, in your prayers. He says, I tend to post links later. Thank you, Phil Herrera. Thank you for your, for your help. Do you see guys? Do you see? Nowhere in the Quran, today we prove to you, nowhere in the Quran, 
does it say that Jesus did not die on the cross? It actually confirms the death of Jesus on the cross. And no Muslim dared to accept my challenge that I provided yesterday. And my challenge still stands strong. Where in the Quran does it say Jesus did not die on the cross? Muslims, I challenge you. I challenge the biggest Imam, the biggest Shaykh. Where in the Quran does it say Jesus did not die on the cross? My challenge still stands strong. Uh, guys, this guy is a coward, man. He's, I think it's ultimate donkey. He's, he's a waste of time. He came to waste my time. This Salmon player is ultimate shirk, the Rashad Khalifa boy. Yeah, you are, you, I know, I know, you're, you're ultimate donkey. I know, I know. You came to troll. You have nothing to say. You're, you're a fake wannabe Muslim. You're a Rashad Khalifa boy. They stabbed your master, Rashad Khalifa in the 90s in the mosque. Muslim Sunni stabbed him in his heart, in his chest in the 90s because he was saying that the Quran is corrupted. And he was saying that parts of the Quran are about him. So this Rashad Khalifa that you are following, Mr. Ultimate Shirk, your master is a wannabe Muslim, and you yourself are a wannabe Muslim. I want real Muslims. Savage! <laughs> Guys, I hope you benefited from our live show today. Let's see if we can answer some questions. Are there questions in the chat? And we will take also calls guys are there any questions in the live chat that we can answer and then we will take calls from christians since we are out of muslims we will take calls from christians muslims are too scared to call us it seems Any questions, guys? Any questions? Uh, yes, of course. Agnostic people still exist. Of course. Is my life boring, Rob? No, I'm actually, I'm really blessed. Uh, I have a wonderful uh, wife. I'm about to become a father, all right? So God blessed me. I, I'm born in a very loving and peaceful family, a big family. I'm happy and God gave me the gift. You know, God wanted to use me. Seems that God wanted to use me. This is why I'm doing this, guys. I'm not doing this for myself. Guys, you don't need me. You don't need me, okay? I'm replaceable. You need Jesus, I need Jesus. But, but, if Jesus wants me to teach through the Holy Spirit, He wants me to teach, then so be it. I will be here. God bless you too, guys. Thank you, I appreciate it. Do you have any uh, questions? Maybe something is not really, uh, maybe you're still confused. Yes. Waraka was translating the Injil. Waraka was translating the Injil. Good that you are mentioning it, guys. It seems Muslims love to tell you that the gospel is corrupted. But wait. According to Sahih al-Bukhari, let me scroll down. This is Sahih al-Bukhari, right? Hadith number 478. Let me give you the link again, guys. This is Sahih, Sahih al-Bukhari. You cannot say this is Daif, brother. If we scroll back, it seems that Muhammad and Waraka had access to the Injil. This is the Injil, the uncorrupted Injil. So how did the gospel got corrupted Muslims? If Waraka himself and Muhammad had in their hands the uncorrupted Injil. Shame on you for calling Waraka and Muhammad lies. You dirty scumbags. You filthy liars. How dare you? Are you calling your prophet a liar Muslims? You see, the gospel was in the hands of Waraka. The gospel was being translated by Waraka and given to Muhammad. Bam on your faces, Muslims. Even Waraka is spanking you. Sahih al-Bukhari is spanking you. My voice is gone, guys. My voice is gone. 
uh, Mr. Muslim debates and lectures. Uh, if I'm sounding like a girl, then that means it's not hard for you to call me live on air. We are live on air. Call me and see who is the girl, you and me. Let us separate the men from the girls. My Skype is open. My Skype is gone. So you have a actually advantage over me. My Skype is, my, my voice is gone. We are live. Call me. Show everybody that Rob Christian is a liar. Come on. Yeah, I'll, I'll go get some drink, guys. No, don't worry. My Skype is the Rob Christian. Call me. Guys, let me go get something to drink. I'll be right back, okay? Maybe this donkey will call me. <clears throat> Vanessa, I will decline your call for a second. I need to go get something to drink. Be right back, okay, guys? Just a second. Be right back. I better manifest some coffee. Hola! One bell dance! Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Disfrute un buen café. Gracias, senor. Adios. Adios! Ah, now that's fresh mountain grown coffee from the hills of Colombia. I better manifest some coffee. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Disfrute un buen café. Gracias, señor. Adiós. Adiós. Ah, now that's fresh mountain grown coffee from the hills of Colombia. I better manifest some coffee. Hola, Juan Valdez. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Disfrute un buen café. Gracias, señor. Adiós. Adiós. Ah, now that's fresh mountain grown coffee from the hills of Colombia. I better manifest some coffee. Hola, Juan Valdez. Buenos días. Buenos días. Disfrute un buen café. Gracias, señor. Adiós. Adiós. Ah, now that's fresh mountain grown coffee from the hills of Colombia. All right, guys, I'm back. I better manifest some coffee. Do we have any Abdul? Do we have any Abdul? So you see, guys, even Waraka bin Nofil, even Waraka bin Nofil, had access to the uncorrupted Injil and the proof is in front of you. How dare you Mohammedans to call Muhammad and Waraq ibn Nawfal liars? Any Muslim? Do you have any Muslim? No Muslims. Abdullah. Let me call our sister Vanessa back. She called me. We have no Muslims today. <laughs> what else is new? Vanessa, are you there, sister? Let me call you back because I noticed that you last time you tried to call me. Hmm. Can you call me back, Vanessa? Can you call me back? Hello, dear sister. You're live on air. Welcome. Hello, brother. How are you? I'm good. How, I, how about you? I'm good, brother. Thank you for your for your for your um the um lectures. Thank you. I don't Thank know how to call it. it from you. Yeah. The, but you do know, you, do you like do you like what you're seeing today? Do you like it? Oh yes. Oh yeah. yes, brother. Did we explain oh. to everybody and showed everybody that nowhere in the Quran does it say? That Jesus did not die on the cross? It is not written anywhere there. But brother, yeah. we do not need the Quran yes. to authenticate the death of our Lord and Th Savior Jesus Christ. That's what I said today many times. I said to the people, yes. sister, maybe you didn't hear me. 
we do not need the Quran to confirm the death of Jesus on the cross and his resurrection on the third day. We don't need the Quran. But since Muslims yes. are following the Quran and they claim that it's from God and they claim without any honor, without any shame that Jesus did not on the did not die on the cross and resurrect on the third day. We have to use the Quran to spank their prophet, to show them that they are nothing but liars and deceivers, and to show them that this lie is invented by the Muslim Imams to try to attack Jesus himself. Nowhere does it say in the Quran yes. that Jesus did not die on the cross. So we don't, guys, pay attention. This sister, what is saying is very important. We do not need the Quran to prove and confirm that Jesus did die on the cross. Because if Jesus did not die on the cross and resurrect on the third day, that means Christianity, our holy faith, would go in vain. Right? But we don't need the Quran. But we need the Quran to expose Islam. That's what we do. We don't need to confirm yeah. Jesus Christ. Right? Go ahead, sister. But you know, brother, Concerning yeah. Warak bin Nofar, yeah. I don't think, if you look at the, uh, the, the background very well, you know, yeah. um, Muhammad had this encounter with, uh, with a, a, a demonic being in the cave. Yes. He knew himself that yes. he, was, he was attacked by a jinn. Yes, you saw my he last, went last to his show, wife. Right? You saw my live show, right? About it. The last one. Yeah, that's that was about uh, Jibril. If Jibril is a demon or a jinn, yes. did you watch it? Yes. Yes. Suffering, guys. I want to make sure that everybody is still listening. Guys, are you still with me? Give me one if you're still with me. My uh, stream said uh, it's buffering. Just wait, sister. Okay. But I hear you. Uh, okay. Okay. Yes. Good. Good. Okay. Our pe the people are hearing too. Okay. Go ahead, sister. Sorry. Okay. You know, uh, uh, Muhammad himself. Yes. Acknowledged that he was attacked by a demon. Whatever he called it, whether jinn or no jinn. Yes. He acknowledged himself that he was attacked by a demon. It was Waraka that lied to him. Because as you said in your last uh, uh, show, live show, yes. there was, even it is in the Bible, there mm -hmm. was no Jibril or Gabriel that appeared to Moses. Mm -hmm. So Waraka lied that it was Gabriel, or maybe no, no, it was... No, 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 uh, sister. No, 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 no. Translation. Waraka, no, Waraka, Waraka did not say, I challenge any Muslim. I hope the Muslims are listening. Nowhere in the Hadith does it say that Waraka said it is an angel. This is a false translation. Waraka said, guys, guys, read with me, please. The Waraka is saying, this is Namus. Last time we taught people the word Namus that is being used, Namus in the Arabic, this is Namus that is sent down on Musa. And Namus, الذي anzala Allah ala Musa, right? So that means the law, the Mosaic law, the 613 Mosaic laws that were given to the Israelites. Guys, that's what it is all about. Uh, Waraka, nowhere does Waraka mention the word Jibril or angel in his mouth. So this is a false translation. I give any Muslim, Sheikh, I challenge any Sheikh, any Imam, any Ustaz to show me the word angel here. It says, Al-Namusu Al-Ladhi Anzala Ala Musa. This is the Namus. This is the Mosaic law. The 613 laws that are sent on Moses. Guys, don't confuse the 613 laws with the Ten Commandments. The, uh, Moses got the Ten Commandments. On top of that, he got also the 613 Mosaic laws that the Israelite had to obey. You don't obey the laws, you get punished. So it was basically a law punishment system. You don't follow those laws, you got punished. And it was only and only for the Jews. So how is Waraka saying, <laughs> How is Waraka saying this is the mosaic law that is sent down on you too, Muhammad? That doesn't make sense. Muhammad is not an Israelite. Are you calling Muhammad a Zionist now? <laughs> Go ahead, sister. Do you see the problem? That's that's why that's why I think yeah. if Waraka who who is Waraka to yeah. 
tell uh, Mohammed mm. that this is a uh, mosaic law. Who is he? <laughs> I mean, yeah, what authority does Waraka have? Yes, God, he's a Nasrani, right? He's a Nasrani, he's a heretic, he's not even a Christian. What authority does Waraka have to say this is the mosaic law? This is the 613 laws that were handed to Moses. What authority does Waraka have? Is, is Waraka a Jew? Is a Waraka a Jew now, guys? <laughs> And what has exactly. what has the mosaic law got to do with Arab illiterates? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but yeah. what has the mosaic law, what has the Jewish law got to do with the Arabs? Yes, exactly. Number this is one, only for the Jews. Uh, guys, can you confirm, yes. sister? Can you confirm? Can you tell to the people? Maybe Rob Christian is lying, guys. What are the mosaic law? Explain, sister. What are the mosaic law? Go explain. These are different laws that guide every life of uh, every lifestyle, or how do I say it, of the Jewish people. You know, there is even a law that says you, you do not uh, cook uh, the uh, chicken in the mother's milk, things like that. Exactly. You know, there are six, more than 600 of them. 613 to be, to be exact, sister. 613, exactly. 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 So if if it uh, it was indeed the mosaic law, yeah. why don't we see any trace of it in the Quran? Exactly. All the laws, all yeah. the Sharia yeah. laws. Exactly, guys. Did you hear what the sister the just said? Law. Since Waraka is claiming, guys, guys, for the love of God, take notes. This is a very important question. Since Waraka is saying, Waraka is saying to Muhammad, you just received. The Mosaic law, the 613 laws, right? So he's asking Muhammad, what have you seen? What is saying to Muhammad? Then Muhammad answering, describe what he ever, what he ever seen in that cave Hira when he was getting squeezed by that Jibril, the demon Jibril. What then said, after hearing what Muhammad said to him, this is the same Namus, there's nothing called angel, we already proved that. This is lie, this is a false translation. There is nothing called Jibril in the Arabic. This is false translation who was sent to Moses. This sister is very smart. Sister Vanessa is really a dear sister and she's very smart. She just made a very huge claim. She said, where are the 613 mosaic laws to be found in the Quran? Since Waraka is saying this is the 600 Mosa 613 mosaic laws. Where can we find them in the Quran? Show me Muslims. And what, sister, you, you know, you, you are brother, being blessed, is, you are very smart, go ahead. There is no single law, brother, that says yes. a 54-year-old man can marry a 6-year-old. Yeah. There is nowhere in the Mosaic law. Exactly, that's a, an insult to the Mosaic law, exactly. So I think Waraka himself was a fraud. Yes, he, he was, was trying to, he was trying to make... A heresy out yes. of the word of God. I don't think it was just translating. He, yeah, he was he translating. Was he was using it. He was helping Khadija because <laughs> last time, guys, two days ago, we taught you that Khadija created Islam. Khadija was the richest woman of Mecca, right? She married Muhammad. Yeah. He was much younger than her. Because she's a woman, she cannot become a prophet. She cannot buy herself into prophethood with her money. So she came with the idea, hey, who is better? Who is who, who can take that position better than my own husband, Muhammad? He's young. He can become a prophet by, with my money, with my power. And we can take Waraka into, into the mix. Waraka has a lot of influence in Mecca. So Waraka and Khadija and Muhammad created Islam. Exactly. You know, you know, the human nature is always when they have more than enough money, the next level is power. They want power. So this is what I think Khadija and uh, Waraka were trying to uh, make out of out of uh, what, what is his name? Mohammed. Yes. You see, they are controlling him behind the scene. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 encouraging him. To take the uh, the prophethood, which he was not, yeah. and I I can imagine God snuffed out Waraka's life just immediately like that.
Yes. It might be ho- it might be old. I'm not I'm not disputing about that fact. But Waraka was up to something very devilish. Yes. And when he died, that is why Muhammad got confused at mm-hmm. first. Exactly. When he died. So, brother, you know, there is something I've been trying to call you for for a long time. I know, I know. And we have we have been taking many calls. The moment we say to the Christian scholars, Christian scholars left and right. But when you ask Muslims during the whole live show, and we are out, we are live for two hours by now, right? We are live for two hours. No Muslim dared to call me. The only ones who wanted to call me were trolls. They didn't even respond. I called them. They didn't even take the call. So, you know... Mm. Muslims are bankrupt, 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 right? Bankrupt mm. people. Yes. Exactly, sister. But uh, I just want to chip in quickly for people to listen. Mm. You mm. know, one thing I learned from the Mohammedans, yes. one thing I learned from the Mohammedans is to read my Bible every word, every meaning to make sure I, I know what it's saying. That is one thing I learned through them. And I will tell you why. But before then, I want to quickly chip in to Adnan Rashid. Adnan (laughs) Rashid, in his second video clip, confirmed that Mm -hmm. Allah is not our God. You know why I said that? And I want uh, people to go and listen to the second clip. Yeah, guys, please listen to this lady. Listen to her, please. Go ahead, sister. Adnan Rashid said, the author of the Quran, and you always say God Almighty. That is not God Almighty. That was that was that was Muhammad. He said God Almighty. Uh, the author of the Quran realized the corruption, the mistake in the Bible. He said it. He realized the mistake in the Bible, and that is why he did not make the mistake by calling the king of Egypt Pharaoh. So. Stealthily, he confessed there that our God cannot be their Allah. Yeah. If you if you if you listen in well, mm-hmm. he confessed there that our God Yahweh is not their Allah because for if, sure not. <laughs> if he meant if he meant something else, he wouldn't have said God Almighty, meaning their Allah. Yeah. Realized the mistakes in the Bible. And he did not make the mistake by calling um, the king of Egypt Pharaoh. Because yeah. at that time, the king of Egypt was not called Pharaoh. He was called Hamth. Exactly. So in it, was saying a king, that, it was a king, no, right? Yeah, there was nothing called Pharaoh. Exactly. Yes. In saying that, number one, he acknowledged that the person that wrote the Bible mm-hmm. was not the same person that wrote the Quran. Exactly. So, if their God, their idol God is claiming in the Quran that is sent in Jil and Torah, yeah. he already caught his, uh, the, the one leg of his God right yeah. there with that statement. I yeah. want everybody to go and listen in and you exactly. will realize this is exactly what he said. Exactly. They, he cut the, the leg of Allah from beneath him. He cut the shin of Allah. Exactly. <laughs> yes. yes. You know, Adnan so, Rashid is a joke. We already spanked him three times, guys. You know, we, uh, you know, we did part one, part two, and part three. If you are interested, go watch it. We did three live shows and we spanked him left and right. He and his prophet. Brother, I, I watch every every show you, you come, except I'm at work. I watch every show. The, yeah, I appreciate the last it, thing I let you go, brother. Before I let you go, there is an, uh, a website mm-hmm. for Muslims where they list all the mistakes in the mm-hmm. Bible. Mm-hmm. And I, I don't have that uh, website name of it. Like, there are tons of mistakes. They want to uh, uh, show their Muslim followers that they are mystics. Mm-hmm. One of them is, and, I, and this is why I said, I learned through the Muslims to read my Bible. Every word, every letter must have a meaning to me. Yes. Because many of the things they write there are false. Number one, the one that uh, I can think of now is, they said in um, in Chronicles or where is it? They wrote there that you know when the when the people when the uh, Israelites left Egypt, yes. many of them because they were murmuring and they were rebellious. Yes. Many of them died d- yes. uh, during the plague. Yeah, in, in the Exodus. In, yeah. Yeah. The desert. Yeah. So when they, when they there, built the golden calf and from, whatnot, right? When God punished them, yeah. yeah. Yes, exactly. That yeah. thousands of people died. Yes. Now, 
go to the New Testament. There it is written, more than people, uh, less than people died there in the New Testament. Mm -hmm. And then they said, okay, how many people died? Old Testament says, let's say 30. Old Testament says 40,000 died. New Testament says 30,000 died. But you know the difference? The difference there is, in the New Testament, Paul said, in a day, in a day, yeah. 30,000 died. Yes. In Old Testament, that uh, clause, in a day, is of not there. Yeah. Of that course, there's no, there no contra contradiction. Exactly. exactly. Yes. Yeah. So there are many of them that, when I then look in, in my Bible, and I realize, Lord, I need to uh, like look at every word, understand every syllable. And that is what I'm encouraging my brothers and sisters to do. Amen. Amen. So we will be able to be, the Bible says, study to show yourself yeah. approved unto God. Yeah, exactly. Knowledge so is power, is right? What, knowledge what, is power, guys. Yes. You see what we do yes. with knowledge? Because of knowledge that we gained in, in the last 50 years, guys, the knowledge that I gained, now I can use it to expose this disgusting man-made sex and death cult of Muhammad. Knowledge is key, guys. If you want to expose a fake religion like Islam, you need to do something about your defense. You know, I call myself a polemicist. You know, to be a polemicist, you need to understand how to defend, but also how to attack. And best attack is from defense. And what's defense? Is know your own Bible first. How can you expose Islam if you don't know your own Bible first? Exactly. So knowledge yes. is key. Thank you, sister, for that uh, mark. Yes. Yeah, you mark. So let me let you go. But before I let you go, there was one brother that called you like two shows mm -hmm. behind and said uh, he, was, he wanted to learn the Bible. I yeah. called in that time, but there were so many people and you were tired. So I just wanted to tell that brother, that's what I'm saying now, if he's listening, yeah. he's from um, Austria. Yes. The guy oh, is one, from yeah. Austria. Yeah, I remember him, yeah. But he said he's uh, from somewhere from uh, East Europe. Yes. So you can go to sermonaudio.com. Sermonaudio.com. Sermon, yeah, sermonaudio.com, sermon yeah. Yes. That's and you website. have, you can learn, it's a treasure trove. If you want to learn uh, 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 Bible, uh, the Bible the gen from Genesis to, to Revelations, you can learn there. It's yeah. the treasure trove. And I have some uh, uh, apps on my, on my phone yeah. that you, you can learn from. And one of them is um, this man that died in the 1800s. He was a mighty man of God. What's his name again? And it was, I can't remember him. The yeah. other one is uh, A.F. AF Church, AF right. Church. Right. Yeah, it's it's an app that you can download if that brother is listening. Mm -hmm. It's called AF Church. All right. You can download that app, and there is another one, AFM Heritage. Right. AFM Heritage. So if you mm -hmm. want, you can download them. And um, brother, please let me just give you the last one before I let you go sure, because go I ahead, know sister. I hear. It's really, sister, we've, we've talked to each other many times, and it's really a blessing yes. when I hear your voice. So go ahead, sister, do what you have Thank to do. Thank you, brother. Thank you. God bless you. The other, the last one I want to give is Spurgeon, yeah. Charles Spurgeon, but he has an app, Spurgeon mm -hmm. Simons. It's Simons. I mean, if you can study just these apps, you don't need to buy anything, you will be blessed, definitely. Amen. So if that brother is listening, it should just note down everything and just download and go online and God will bless him richly. So brother, I just want you to know, I mm. pray for you, not only for you. I know people are praying for me as well. And mm. I know Thank God you. is keeping you Amen. and God will raise you higher than you can imagine. Thank you for souls that you, you know, I sent something to your, um, to your Skype to, uh, two days ago or yesterday yeah. that a walk is not in vain. Because the Indonesian Muslims yes. are feeling the heat there now. I know, I know. If our our if videos, you, you have watch. guys, people who are listening, I, you really, I cannot say thank you enough. I am receiving tons of messages. So guys, if I don't answer to your message because I get tons of messages. So guys, please, sorry if I'm not responding always, 
but it seems that our videos are reaching all the corners of the world. So it's a, you know, it's a blessing. You know, it seems that our, our work is actually working, you know, uh, and it's, it's, it's a blessing to be with you guys day in, day out. When, when we have the chance to do a live show, to uh, upload a small video, we don't do this for ourselves. Guys, you don't need me, but if it's God's plan to use us, then so be it. And thank you for this beloved audience. I thank God for you because we, without you, we cannot do this. God bless you. God bless your loved ones. And God bless you, Sister Vanessa. Keep calling us. God bless you too. Thank you for calling. God bless you. Brother. The thank Indonesians you. are now going, the Muslims, they are going to the churches. They want the churches closed because Muslims, they are leaving the mosques and they are going to churches. I Amen. bless God for you. Amen. God Amen. bless you, brother. Amen. Bye -bye. Continue. God, God bless thank, you. Thank you, sister. Appreciate it. Thank you for your call. Yeah, welcome. God bye -bye. bless. Go in peace. Bye bye. Always a blessing to to have our sister, dear sister Vanessa, on the phone. Thank you for the donation. Your moon god Allah. Satan is the god of moon. Thank you for your donation. God bless you, uh, guys. I want to uh, say hi to my dear brother. Most use. Most use is a dear brother of mine from the Paul Talk period when I used to stay on Paul Talk. He was one of my admins in the room that I used to uh, teach on. So uh, most use, God bless you. I'm really happy that you're here. God bless you and your wife and your family, my friend. Nice to see you in my live chat. Our brother, most use. Uh, do we have any other calls, guys, that we can take? Let's see if we can take more calls. Let's see. Let's see if we can call. Is this a Muslim? Maybe we have a Muslim. Let's see. I think it's a troll, but it's okay. Let's see. Cowards. Jalaluddin al Tabari. Hello? 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 Is it me that you are looking for? I can see it in your eyes. True. Bye bye. Look how, how many times he called me, guys. Idiot. Let me block this idiot. Idiots. Is that all? Of any, <laughs> is that all? Of everything that you have, Muslims. You are sending me kids. To throw our live show, that's it? Is that the best you have? And let me take this call, our brother, First Galatians 17. Hello, my friend. Your life on air, go ahead, my friend. Hi, um, um, I want to do uh, just a um, completion, let's say. Mm -hmm. uh, in the beginning, uh, you've started with, I think it was Matthew or John, where you spoke about the temple. Yeah, John uh, 2, verse 19, 21, yeah. exactly. It's on, the, on the, it's on the screen, my friend. In yesterday's uh, stream um, of F. Dawa about misconception of Islam, they quote Psalm 5 yeah. about uh, David worshipping the temple because um, they wanted to defend the black stone. <laughs> so uh, I wanted to just say that the temple that David was praying to, it was Jesus Christ, that's the thing. Uh, the, the actual temple, they even played a video after with the Jews uh, worshipping the temple, but the temple was uh, built by Solomon and it took the year so he couldn't um, worship the temple that was wasn't <laughs> existed, you know oh, what a joke <laughs> this these people this EF Dawa uh, yeah. they have 200 subscribe 200,000 subscribers and none yeah. of these cowards none of these cowards are stepping up to call me Oh, what, I went, what, a shameful, I went, what a shameful bunch of idiots. I went live uh, once yeah. and they just keep muting you, so it's yeah, pointless. Uh, the other thing is uh, that um, idiots. Yeah. I'm going to try to make it short. Go ahead, no, take uh, your time, my friend. Take Muhammad time. was a plain warner, Waraka was the prophet. Yeah. <laughs> Second, yeah. <coughs> I wanted to make it uh, more, ju more uh, juicy yeah. about the crucifixion. And I want you, if you want, to put two Colossians, two Corinthians, chapter five, uh, verse nineteen. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. 
that God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting people's sin against them, them being Jesus and God at the same time. And the only time uh, uh, Jesus said this was on the cross. So there is your Trinity, Muslims, on the yeah. cross. God yeah, exactly. was in Jesus, and Jesus was also filled with Holy Spirit at the same time. But, so, but, but brother, brother, according to Allah, in chapter 5, ayah 116, it says that Mary, Isa, are two gods besides Allah. What do you think about this Islamic Trinity, my friend? Well, actually, it's a 50, because you've <laughs> got the Quran, you've got the Quran also, which is... Um, yeah. And you've got... Um... No, no, that's not, that's not what I'm trying to say. The ayah, chapter 5, ayah 116 that we mentioned today, it says, take me and my mother. So we have Isa and mother and his mother Mary, Maryam, who they call Maryam, are two gods besides Allah. That's according to Allah, what Christian believe. What happened to the Holy Spirit? Why did you leave out the Holy Spirit? And why did you add his Mar mother Maryam into the yeah. mix? You see how it... Allah is all-knowing? Do you, do you see it, my friend? Well, Allah is very unknowing. I'll give you one more insight <laughs> if you want. Uh, I think Allah was so um, unknowing that he didn't know what uh, uh, Jesus' apostle teach, but yet he uh, gave them enough power to perform miracles and, uh, you know, preach the cross and uh, Jesus Christ um, crucified yeah. and so on. He never stepped in and say, yeah, what, why are you doing? I didn't give you the power to do that. You have to speak <laughs> about me and the Tawheed and stuff like that. Yeah. We can th see. Yeah, yeah, brother, you think, you, th I, you know what I think? If I study the Quran carefully and I've doing so for the last 15 years, it seems that Allah sent this Islamic Isa. We don't know who he is. We think if we study carefully, it's Esau, the accursed brother of Jacob. That's what we think yeah, after I studying. Yeah, I just let, let me finish, just, just, I, and I'll finish my point, my friend. So, here, Allah sent this Islamic wannabe Jesus, the Isa, the accursed brother of Jacob, that's what we think. He sent him to do a mass confusion, create Christianity, and leave with a disaster. Showing that Allah is a disgusting deceiver, deceiving the Jews, right, creating Christianity. That's what this Allah is all about. Yeah, but uh, Muhammad didn't know what he was on about, even in that verse, because uh, later on he says that Christian and Zoroastrian, they all go to heaven, so I don't see the point in converting yeah, to Islam. believers, exactly, exactly. What's the point to convert to Islam if we're going to heaven anyway, with yeah. a corrupt book, by the way? <laughs> yeah. yeah, according to chapter 5, good that you mention it, according to chapter 5, surely those who believe, those are the Muslims, and those who are Jews and the Sabians and the Christians, whoever believes in Allah in the last day and does good, they shall have no fear. So the Jews and the Christians shall have no fear, nor shall they grieve. How is it possible? Christians worship the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We are Mushrikun. How did Mushrikun or Mushrikeen like the Christians, how did they become believers? And how should we not be afraid and should we not? Oh, nor the, Sar um, the Sabians. You see the disaster? Sarbian. You see the contradiction in this ayah? Deal with it, Muslims. Yes, yeah, so it's you know it's it, you can set so many challenges. I wrote you like uh, let's see if Muslim condemns the English translation of the Quran for uh, mistranslating stuff mm. because that's corruption of the Quran. Yet they promote it, so we we can see how truthful they are. Yeah. Not uh, not to mention uh, as well, um, um, you know, standing for. Um, for a corrupt book as they promote it. Yeah, exactly. It's all it's all mixed up. And if you have other calls, I'll I'll just let you go. I wanted just to complete with the Psalm five and yeah, thank you, uh, my friend. For keep, keep always keep calling us. It's a blessing to hear your voice, my friend. Uh, just drop a comment again in the live chat for people who want to support your channel, my friend. This I, guy is making a lot of videos to support this brother, my guys. I just made the one about Mohammed Hijab. He just made yeah. a few stupid things yesterday, and I just was glad to expose them. But good job, uh, my friend. Good job. Um, you know, I do with Bible passages. I don't deal that much with the Quran because of mm -hmm. the first two verses, and uh, from there on, it's pointless. But it's good that we have people like you or like CP, you know, that yeah. exposes even this aside. 
I uh, appreciate I it, just, my friend. Thank you. Yeah, I just went in a different direction, so we have a broader um, view, you know. Yeah. Well, Can you, uh, my friend? People are asking for your YouTube channel, so make sure to drop something in the channel, uh, in the chat, so that they can find you. All right. All right. God okay, bless you. God bless you. Thanks for calling. Nice to hear you Thank as you. well. Thank you. Peace of Christ to you, my friend. Thank you for Thank calling. You too. Bye bye. Bye. We have uh, receiving amazing calls from you, Christians. Really, uh, it's a, it's an honor to talk to you live on air. For so many people who are watching, we have. 227 viewers right here right now and there are no Muslims who stepped up today to answer this challenge of ours no Muslim are you telling me Muslims that your heroes are all scared to step up what a shame what a shame what a shame what a shame Muslims guys thank you for your support if you want to become a patreon you can support us through our patreon account we are in full ministry uh, don't forget to subscribe smash that like button guys always make sure to download our videos share them if you can translate our videos in your own languages so that our videos can reach many because there are many deceived Muslims unfortunately Muslims who are watching who are listening we do not hate you we only want to show you how you have been deceived you are a victim of this Arab cult more than 50 75 percent of the Muslim nation don't speak Arabic but we because we know Arabic, I am an Arabic speaker, I am showing you, I am proving to you today. Rewatch the video, Sh show yourself, prove to yourself that we are not lying to you. Show me where I'm lying when I quoted chapter 5, Ayah 69. Show me where I lied when I quote chapter 3, Ayah 55. Show me where I lied where, when I quoted chapter 4, Ayah 157. I challenge you. Show me, show me, Muslims. Show me where we lied about chapter 5, verse 117, where Jesus is saying, You Allah caused me to die, confirming his death on the cross. Jesus himself, your Islamic Isa, Muslims. I challenge you. Show me where we are lying, where Allah is saying, Oh Isa, verily I shall make thee die and lift thee up to myself. Where did we lie when we quoted your Quran? We went to the Arabic, we went to the English. You have been deceived, my friends. Muslims, we don't hate you. We just want to expose the lies of these false, deceptive, wannabe heroes of yours. Those people who are lying to you in the false translation. Wake up, please. Don't do it for me, do it for yourself, Muslims. Do we have more callers, guys? Do we have more callers? I missed another call. Let me call this person back. Oh. Hello? Yeah, hello, Christian. Hello, you're live on air. Yeah, how are you? I'm good, my friend. Are you a Christian or a Muslim? I'm Muslim, Muslim. You're a Muslim. Uh, All right, welcome. Yeah. You're live on air. What do you want to say? Thank you, thank you. Uh, you just uh, challenged to show the words, I didn't uh, watch your full show, but uh, the verse is chapter 4, verse 157, where Allah says that they killed him not, nor did they crucify him. We already him. mentioned this. You, have you seen what I said about it, or did you not see? Oh, I, I didn't uh, watch your okay. show. So. Okay, uh, can you see the screen? Guys, we have a Muslim. He thinks he has the courage. Welcome, by the way. We don't hate you, my friend. We are very welcome here. We want to have a respectful discussion with you. So thank you for your call. Can you read the text on the screen? Can you see it? This is chapter 4, uh, I 157. Read it. Uh, basically, I'm on, on the call, so that's why I cannot... Okay, okay. read from your Quran. Do you have your Quran? You you can read. I can. I think I can open... No, the... you, you're the Muslim, my friend. Read it and explain it to us. Go ahead. You can, you can use your Quran. You can, you know, take your time. We're live on air. Take your time. Open chapter 4, I 157. I have it in front of me. People can see it on the screen and we, we can read with you and explain it to us, please. 
Yeah, verse 157, they, that they said in Bose that we killed Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, the messenger okay, stop. of God. Okay, oh, stop. Who, who, are, who are the ones who are saying we killed Christ? Who are they? Jews said. Who? Jews. The Jews. Okay, so the Jews are saying, guys, this person is saying that the Jews are saying we killed the Messiah. Question. Can you show me one Jew in the history, history of all Jews? One Jew said we killed the Messiah. Go ahead. Name me one Jew who said we killed the Messiah. Go ahead. Do uh, hello, look. Do I have to show you? Don't you yes, believe because, that? Yes, because because according to the Quran, the Jews are saying. Listen, 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 my friend, my friend, listen, listen, listen. Just a second. You just read for if people are reading with you, and you just read for us. Uh, the Jews look, are you're, saying, you're, wait, you're, wait, wait, hello, 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 let, let me make my point. You just one said, word, which is that, are, you, are, you, uh, are you allowing me to talk? Wait, we cannot talk at the same time. You just confirmed saying that those are the Jews who are saying we killed the Messiah. It's, of course, it's very important to know what kind of Jews, which Jews said we killed the Messiah. Go ahead. Look, you are just deceiving now. You said show one verse where it says no, that no, Jesus yeah, okay. was yes. not okay. killed or not crucified. That's my challenge. Thank you. Thank you. But we need but to understand now, who are those Jews who are making this claim? Now, it's very important. And look, look, okay, okay. I, you, uh, I answered your question. Now it's my turn. Then you can ask okay, and I will answer you. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so here the question goes. Uh, what and who died on the cross? The man or God? Flesh or why does spirit? It say who that? died? Why does, why does it say that? Read the eye. What does, what? Read the entire eye. Read the entire eye for me. Read it. I'm asking you, when you say that Jesus was died on the cross for the sins of mankind, listen, I'm asking you who listen, died. Listen, you mentioned what? chapter 4, I 157. Why are you going outside the topic? Read the eye and explain it to me. That's what That was my very question for you. Read the ayah and explain it to us. You are reading it and while, while you're getting to a point, we want to dissect it and see what the ayah is saying in context. The ayah is saying, we, the Jews are speaking, we killed the, the, the Messiah. So my question is, where do we find any Jew in the whole history of Jews? Where can we find any Jews who, who dare to claim that they killed the Messiah? How can the Jews say we killed the Messiah? while the Jews are still waiting for the first time for their Messiah to come. How can Allah lie and you Muslims accept this lie about the Jews? Why is Allah and Muhammad lying about the Jews? No Jew in the entirety of the history of all Jews would dare to claim we killed the Messiah when they are still waiting for the Messiah to come. Who killed, who killed Jesus? Hindus? <laughs> No, the Jews did not, who, who did who did who killed 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 Allah said, this is chapter 3, I 55, you can open it. It says, Allah said, O Isa, verily I shall make thee die. Do you hear it? Verily Allah is saying, O Isa, I shall make thee die. Read it. Read it. Yeah. Uh, your your screen is not showing. Uh, yes, it's can showing. you just repeat it's the ayah? What you... Chapter 3, open it up. Chapter 3, I 55. It says, what Allah it say? said, Allah said, listen carefully, Abdul, don't waste my time. Allah said, O Isa, verily I shall make thee die, and I'm lifting thee to myself. Is Allah lying? Go ahead. You said no one killed Jesus. Well, clearly Allah is saying, I am killing you. I am causing you to die. Who is killing Jesus? Ruk, just Allah hold on saying, a second. Allah is saying, the if I did not Allah, understand listen, I, that listen, means just listen, open the screen. listen, listen, listen. It says in Arabic, إِذْ قَالَ اللَّهُ يَا عِيسَى إِنِّي مُتَوَفِّيكَ وَأَرْفَعَكَ إِلَيَا right? So Allah is saying, Allah said, O Isa, verily I shall make thee die and I'm lifting thee to myself. Is Allah lying? Go ahead. 
what are i saying i shall make you let me just open the word. yeah yeah open 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 open, open, open your quran brother brother open the quran brother just yeah, so hold on a second i'm just opening the screen i don't know why uh, your screen is not yeah, yeah. It's, it's my screen it's your it's not your connection brother uh, maybe maybe okay yeah. then let me just yeah open my the friend a question before you call me did you say inshallah what inshallah yeah did you oh, don't say inshallah be don't be, be christian friend okay don't be christian friend okay I did not okay, say okay. Read, I, read it read it read it brother i said you and here is the question answer of your challenge yeah. okay answer answer who, who are you calling allah a liar chapter 3 ayah 55 are you calling allah a liar? I, I, i'm reading the words uh you just deceive people too much so i cannot read. say anything i challenge you to show me i challenge you to show me where i deceive people read it show chapter show show, verse, every, show everybody 55. that rock christian is a deceiver go ahead chapter 3 ayah 55 read the arabic and just to hold on a second sorry sorry to uh, make you wait i'm just opening the verse yeah chapter 3 ayah 55 surah ali amran ayah 55. Brother, come on, brother. <clears throat> My friend, ask Prophet Google, please, to help you. Prophet Google I always just, provide. Uh, the reference. Okay, I didn't. I don't know what you are showing on your screen. Chapter three, I fifty-five. Uh, That's what I'm showing on the screen. I know. I, I, I did you drink water, my friend? Did you drink water? Did you drink I'm water? I'm just reading, uh, my friends. Uh, okay, drink water. Ask Prophet Google, chapter three, ayah fifty-five. Don't forget to drink and say inshallah, brother. Else Allah will not help you with looking chapter three, ayah fifty-five up. <laughs> look, Rob. Look, just brother. Look. Brother, don't waste my time, brother. It's a waste of time. Brother, I'm going to refute you, brother. I'm going to waste my time with you, brother. But I cannot even open up the Quran, brother. Don't eat it. Keep drinking and keep saying inshallah. Do 10 times evolution and call me next time, okay? You're a waste of time, man. Come on, brother. Guys, uh, Rob Christian, you're lying, brother. Don't deceive the people, brother. You, you just called Allah a liar, man. You see, guys, is there actually a true Muslim in this world? When you call Allah a liar, are you still a Muslim or are you out of Islam? Did you become an apostate when you're calling Allah a liar? Allah said, O Isa, verily I shall make thee die and I'm lifting thee to myself. It qala Allahu, ya Isa, inni mutawafika, tawafa, mutawafika, I cause you to die. Who caused Isa to die? Allah. And warfauka, I'm raising thee up. Did Allah stutter? Are you calling Allah a liar? A, you know, is it, did Allah have mental issues when he sent this ayah down on Muhammad? Confirming the death and resurrection of Jesus? Takbir Allahu Akbar for the confirmation of the death and resurrection of Jesus in chapter 3, ayah 55, brother. Please don't send me kids. Imams, imams, ustaz, don't send me kids. I want you. Guys, I took an oath. As long you imams, you shuyukh cannot refute us, you keep sending us kids, we will continue bringing down the hammer on the face of your disgusting fake prophet. Keep sending me kids and keep allowing me to spank them left and right. Brother, Allah is a liar, brother. Yeah. He just called Allah a liar, man. It's on tape. It's recorded. Uh, uh, Anadias. The guy needs 10 minutes to look up an ayah. It's a waste of time. Come on. Look up the ayah and then call me. I mean, we have been discussing this for how many hours now? At least two hours, man. 
waste of time. He wasted Christian Prince his time. He's wasting my time. You know, I, I don't, I don't want to waste my time, guys. Come on. Do you want me to repeat myself? How many times did I say to him? Surah Ali Amran, chapter 3, I 55. Look it up. Call me. Next time. Let's see who this guy is. Your voice is gone, guys, and you want me to be patient? Hey, brother. Hey, my friend. Welcome. Your life and How are good. you? I'm good. What about you? I'm I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, I'm I'm listening to your uh, to your video, mm. and uh, it's crazy. It's it's really crazy because. Um, I hope I it's see not too bro. I hope it's not too crazy. Come on, man. No, it's crazy for me because <laughs> <laughs> it's it's. Uh, I I I see uh, I see many Muslims yeah. rea uh, don't react on your questions. Yeah. And it's what else? All, that's that's the story of my life, my friend. That's the it's story it's of my life. it's. Uh, you know what, what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We do, we are not hate Muslims, you know. No, we but don't. They are not. they yeah. are not confessed the truth yeah. they are not confessing because they are scared to to get of the religion of islam mm. they are so scared of his turning back of the islam yeah. the biggest problem in the muslim is that they are never going to confess because i know them i know mm. them very good i know mm. that they never going to confess to you and you have a lot of muslims they, they know yeah. or they are they, they, they try to do something uh uh, like you do now in in li life on air, and it's 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 so wow. It's I don't understand these people, yeah, I man. I appreciated this kind of word, my friend. I really appreciate what you say. Thank you so much, my friend. I'm not doing this uh, as a show. To, honest to God, we are doing this to show you, to show everybody we are live on air. We are been, you know, challenging Muslims for two days now. Yesterday I made that challenge. Today we are live on air and why are they hiding? Where are they? Why are they sending us trolls or kids like this? The, car, the yeah, caller before they, you, they cannot even answer a question, man. Yeah, they are run away. They yeah. run away. No, no, I, I, you know, to be honest with you, I, I don't want to waste my time with a guy who needs 10 minutes to look one eye up. I mean, I gave him even the, the, the source, right? Chapter 3, I 55. Look it up. Guy needs to drink yeah, water. I, he needs to. Know, what, I, What's wrong with these people, man? You know, a couple of weeks ago, uh, yeah. it was the same. Uh, you are live on air, yeah. and uh, you you spoke <clears throat> you spoke about this, uh, about that, about this ayah, yeah. uh, about Jesus is crucified because in the Islam it said that Jesus is crucified because God told in the Quran that that is crucified. You know, mm. and that's why 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 I say it's mostly go to chapter uh, chapter three. Verse um, um, fifty-five. Yeah, the verse. It's in, yeah, it's in, it's on the screen. Chapter three, fifty-five. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The 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 problem is that I had a lot of a big discussion about uh, about this, uh, and they don't they don't uh, tell they, they say you are not telling the truth. <laughs> because they don't, they don't. Because it's read in the Quran, but they say, yeah, but you have to read the context yeah, of the of the. My verse. friend, you know the problem is, my friend. Imagine you have been a Muslim. You are born in Islam. Maybe you you converted to Islam, and your imams have always told you in the mosque, in the lectures, in the madrasas, right? Jesus yeah. did not die on the cross. Jesus did not die. But when we go to the Quran and we show it on on the screen, they are shocked. They don't know what to do. Imagine yeah, you're, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, they they, 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 for that moment, they are like uh, frozen. We are yeah, reading it. I wrote. How many times did I read it for him? Allah said, "O Isa, verily I shall make thee die." The the guy didn't know what to do. He was uh, drinking water. He was looking up uh, uh, Prophet Google. Uh, my friend, what's wrong with you? Read it. Yeah, and and the the problem is about about that. I I, I have the same problem. Yeah. That you have, I have the same problem. I know, bro. Not, not, not Muslims can can repeat to the questions. They they, they don't can say. They go to they, they jump to the other verses and they, they say, yeah, look in this chapter, look there. Yeah. No, yeah. you have to to read what what in the chapter 
say what, what is writing there in the chapter, not not say to to a lot of people uh, that I know they are Muslims and they are not understand the the why you or me or many people became Christians. You know, you know, uh, many pe- many Muslims mm. in in Turkey they they became they, they became Muslim uh, Christians in the uh, in the month of Ramadan. I've, yeah, I've seen I've seen the video. I've seen the video on, on, the, on the shores. Yeah, on of Turkey, they are baptizing many Muslims on the shores in Turkey, and they be, became Christians in you know in the water in the sea, right? In the Mediterranean yeah, yeah, Sea, they, yeah, they've yeah. been baptizing them. Amazing, yeah. amazing to see amazing, in Ramadan. Yeah. In Ramadan, in Muslims Ramadan. leaving Islam and becoming Christians, baptizing. And, and the whole community, the wor- guys. You know the work that you do for mm. for, for uh, mm. it's not hatred. It's it's just the truth because you is the books that talk, not not mm. not the mount. Is yeah. the book. Yeah, you my friend, read, yeah, you, exactly. They call us haters when we read their Quran. It's when not we read haters, their hadith, it, 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 suddenly it, it, you're a hater. You are a ha- no, you are, no, you're a hypocrite. Not, you're a liar when you read the Quran. Can you imagine? Yeah, you're a like, hater of Muslims. Yeah, you, you see the logic? <laughs> no, this not this yeah. is not the logic. Yeah. Because every every uh, kind of people that that speak to you about uh, about uh, this problem about yeah. uh, Islam and Christianity, mm-hmm. the they, they are not they say all, all the time yeah how many bibles you have mm. how many bibles you read yeah i say look yeah. there's one one bible there's one we read, bible read this read the same injil that muhammad and waraqa ibn Ufl, right had access to and muhammad was getting the arabic translation of the gospel from waraqa it's in sahih al-bukhari mr mm. mr waraqa ibn Ufl, the Nasrani was writing the gospel in Arabic for Muhammad and Allah wished him to write. Allah was commanding the Prophet Waraq ibn Nufil. Can you, <laughs> can you show me, can, yeah. can it's on the some Muslim show me? It's on can, the yeah, I know. Can some Muslim show me what, what, Allah, yeah. what Allah said in the Quran that, that he loves you? <laughs> Good luck with that, yeah. No, uh, yeah. can Muslim one one Muslim? Uh, I I have yeah. I have so many things to to say, but we are not slaves, and and that's what I say. If we are not, uh, why uh, why there is so much hatred in uh, in uh, because in the Bible we read yeah. if you if you have hate in your heart, you never uh, you, you never go to heaven. You yeah. you don't enter to heaven. Exactly. And I know, I know that for sure because hatred is not from God. Yeah, hatred. Exactly. Yeah. We we actually it's is the you know the truth that you want to share, right? The truth that you want to share. That's not hate. It's called love. Our love is by showing you the truth. We share our love with you. It does not mean you know that uh, that uh, we are going to accept uh, anything you say, lies and deception. No. By showing you the love that we have is showing the truth, share the truth with you and expose lies and deceivers like the fake prophet of Islam. Exactly. My friend, I, um, you know, I want to address a Muslim in the live chat and we need to wrap this up because our dear brother David Wood is going to go live. So I don't want to stay right. much longer on life. Thank you for your call. No problem. Thank and keep you, calling my us, my friend. God bless you. Thank you. Yeah, for your call. God bless you too. See you. Bye-bye. 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 There's a uh, coward in the live chat, guys, by the name of Dali Lee. He says, Rob, Rob, let me go to the guy. Rob is correct. The meaning can be God took the spirit of, or Jesus is still sleeping, and good God take, took his body. Brother, why does it say that what you're saying, brother? Brother Dali Lee, brother, it says, Allah said, this is not my translation. This is your Islamic translation, brother. Dalili, you coward. You you will never call me. You coward. You know, maybe your imam can call me. Why is Allah saying, Oh Isa, this is your translation, you idiot, Mr. Dalili. Allah said, Oh Isa, focus, donkey, focus. Verily, I shall make thee die. Are you calling Allah a liar? Huh? I'm 
mean maybe dying, guys? I think in uh, according to the Muslims, their logic, when you die, you are uh, kickboxing, you are drinking water, like that Muslim guy who called me. You are asking Prophet Google to you know to show you an ayah. Dying, and only in Islam, dying does not mean dying. Dying does not mean death. Death does not mean death. Only in Islam, brother. Dying means, uh, uh, you know, going to the gym, uh, uh, having uh, sex, sex with your baby bride Aisha. That's what dying in Islam means, brother. Right? Yo, idiot. Allah is saying, إِذْ قَالَ اللَّهُ يَا عِيسَى إِنِّي مُتَوَفِّيكَ وَرَافِعَكَ إِلِي Right? Ilayya. So it, it, it means I am raising you up, but I am causing you to die first. Warafiaka ilayya, right? I am raising you up, but first he's causing him to die. The ayah is crystal clear. Are you calling this translator a liar, Mr. Dalili? Huh? إِذْ قَالَ اللَّهُ يَا عِيسَى إِنِّي مُتَوَفِّيكَ What does this word mean according to Prophet Google? Let us see. This is the word. Let me post it again. It says you are dead, brother. When, when Prophet Google says you are dead, that means you are doing uh, gym exercise. You are doing mental gymnastics, brother, as a Muslim. In Islam, it doesn't mean death. It means doing, uh, you know, eating food. Or maybe uh, playing with the, uh, you know, with the Quran of Allah, doing bid'ah, brother. That's what it means, brother. It does not mean that, brother. Who are you? Who are you trying to 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 deceive, Rob Christian? My friend, you have no clue who I'm at, who I am, my friend. I am Rob Christian, man. Even your Allah cannot refute me, man. Do you think I'm going to put up a challenge like this, a challenge like this? <laughs> And you think Muslims can refute me? You think you Muslims can refute me? Your biggest Shaykh, the Shaykh of Al Azhar, cannot refute me, my friend. Who are you? Dalili, idiot. Keep deceiving yourself. In the end, you're not deceiving anyone. No one in the chat buys your lies. You're only deceiving yourself, my friend. You can stay in your cult because the truth is only for the seekers of truth. All right? We don't believe that all the Muslims are going to be saved, but we have hope for everybody. Maybe, maybe out there there are Muslims who are actually caring about their own salvation. Those Muslims we want to help, not people who are like you, who want to see the world burning. Some people are just made, right? They are made, you know. They like evil. They like evil and people like you are evil followers you don't want the truth my friend all right guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe smash that like button guys help me to help you thank you for watching i hope you benefited from today's live show i hope you took notes thank you for your support thank you for your donations keep supporting our work guys we without you we cannot do this and support all the warriors, support David Wood, support Christian Prince, support all the warriors in Christ. Thank you. May Jesus bless you, bless your loved ones. To the Muslims, today we cooked Allah and his fake prophet. You Muslims cannot do anything about it. Your Muslim heroes are hiding. That's unfortunate. But that's the reality. You Muslims are nothing but G keyboard jihadis. You can only respond in the comment section after we wrap our live show up. We are done teaching. Muhammad would be ashamed of you if you call yourself a Muslim. Because clearly you have no courage and knowledge to refute us. Thank you for watching guys. Download our videos. Translate them in your own languages. And may the peace of Christ be with you. God bless.